that guy looks like he touches That's children. That's not even close to the worst one. That's not the worst. I mean, who is that? Yeah. You, you know, were not meant to be good looking until you were old. Maybe. You're like George Clooney. Am I? You're really gassing me up right like now. Like, George Clooney was all right looking back in the day. But as an older But man. as, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, now he's fucking great. Do you have another one? Hampton Roads. Tom, I mean, you. Just type in, look, let me help you out. Yeah. Just type in <laughs> Tom Segura. <laughs> Fat. <laughs> <laughs> and then hit image results. Let's do that with me too. Let's do I want to do this with both of us. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Tom Segura fat and bring them all up. Oh my you look like a, a club owner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look how pretty she is. Yeah, she looks really good. I mean, she looks fantastic. Yeah. What no, get another I one. Know, they're like, oh, I love that they bring up one. Go to Google. Yeah, it's I mean, on Google. I, I apologize. Just go to Google. Oh my, look at that one. Dude, what's that? Oh, Is the that top you? left one. The top, no, the the one left there. That's one of the fattest I ever was. Where? Left, down. This one. That one. That's one of the. If you can make that bigger. What? That's one the of the. You did a special like that. That yeah, was just. That was but no, but the other image. Right there. Wow. I don't know if. Yeah. Scroll down. Just scroll you down. Scroll. It's, maybe it's in the. Scroll article. down. It's in the article. Scroll down. I told you, they all have autism. I apologize. And they and they're not even listening right now. They're just oh, they're 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 far left. That one. Who's that? That's me. That's not you. That's me. That's not you. Two thousand nine. What were you doing? Were you working at a candy factory? <laughs> <laughs> what the I know. fuck, dude? I know. Wow. Yeah. I mean, someone wrote just a friendly reminder of where you came from, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no money, you tip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, Tom. Yeah. I mean, you, if you were that guy right now. All right, take it down, man. This episode is brought to you by GhostBed. Look, you want to be the funniest person in the room, right? You got to make sure you're well-rested. Great jokes and tired brains, they don't mix. So if you're not sleeping well, you might need a new mattress. Guess what? The great, awesome folks at GhostBed make the best one. I have one. I sleep on it. Both mattresses up at my tiny house our ghost bed. I love them. In fact, the, it's a family owned business. That's why I love them. Who's been making mattresses in the U S for over 20 years. You know, I love the U S you can tell when you lie down on their beds that they're super high quality. All their mattresses feature signature cooling technology that ensures you don't wake up in a big pool of sweat. Take advantage of free shipping and 101 night mattress sleep trial and financing starting at only 35 bucks a month. You don't have to go in and pay the whole thing. Most orders ship within 24 hours, so you can start sleeping better this week. Listeners can get 40% off all products site-wide. You can get 40% off mattresses, adjustable bases, and bedding accessories, or get 50% off when you bundle a mattress with an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide. Limited time only. Today's episode of YKWD is brought to you by BetterHelp. Listen, this is the season to be jolly, but you know what? It also gets kind of sad, depressing, overwhelming, anxiety. A lot of stuff happens now. It gets dark out early. It's dark out when you wake up, and it's getting cold. Let me tell you something right now. I benefit from therapy. You know why? Because if I'm healthy, just like going to the gym, you got to do your soul. You got to do your brain, mental health. If my mental health is on point, I feel good. If I feel good, I'm tre treating people well. If I treat people well, treat myself well, my life is good. I feel happy. No more emotional hangovers. That's why therapy for me, a neutral place where I can tell people and talk to people, and it's not going to affect my relationships in my life. BetterHelp is convenient, flexible. It suits your schedule. The problem with therapy is you have to drive into some place, find a parking spot, wait in a hallway. God forbid you bump into somebody who went in before you that you know. This is not that. It's the new way to do it. It's the better way. It's flexible, convenient, your schedule. You can change therapists anytime you want. If you don't like them, get a new one, and there's no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash dude today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dude. Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. 
we're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKWD. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKWD podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started before them all. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the bandana, man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. What's up, every? He's, he went five, four, and then stopped. <laughs> so I have to do the three, two, one on my own. You. I'll do it for you. Three, two. One. What's up, everybody? Robert Kelly here, uh, YKWD Studios, above the world famous Comedy Cellar. Uh, we're back with another episode. Before we go any further, make sure you're watching this on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Don't be a douche. Just hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel, and then like, and then comment uh, in the comments. You know, <laughs> fight or do whatever. Uh, but that's it. And go to Patreon.com/slash Robert Kelly to get all the episodes first. Before anybody else and the extra YKWD episode, I think I'm going to shit my pants. I think I have to be very careful this episode. No toots. This is a no toot episode. Usually I toot away. There's no toots this episode because I'm pretty sure I'm going to I'm going to duke. I'm going to duke my pants. Uh, but I got a very special episode. Uh, Max, who do we got this week? We got uh, Tom Segura. I mean, you have the enthusiasm. Of a fucking foot. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. It's literally. No, we were, we're so excited to have you. One of the biggest guests we had. It's. I've been disappointed since the moment I walked in the room. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. I was late, and I apologize. Yeah, that's fine. But I was expecting a little more hurrah from them when I walked in the room. Well, I mean, look at if you had a train set, you would have gone. <laughs> <laughs> then they would have lost their minds. If you had tinfoil. If you had the tinfoil from inside of a cigarette pack yeah, yeah. and you did this, they yeah, would have fucking were, lost whoa, their mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're uh, they're not the, uh, they're good one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Joe, I take Joe with me on the road. I take him all on the road with me once really? in a while. Really? Yeah, little Max, who's around four foot two, mm -hmm. uh, he, his feet don't, when he sits in a chair, they don't touch the ground. Yeah. But he'll smoke a cigar, he'll fucking <laughs> eat a hook his ass out. He's the most manly of them all. Really? Yeah. And then... <laughs> Yeah, I, if he was, if they were elves, he'd be slutty. Yeah, if they were like little elves that I had. Uh, Joe has literally driven three hours with me, staring out the window like this. Yeah, no, not said a word. Like I've sat there and like, I'm gonna go until he talks. Sure. Nothing it's, in his own head. Yeah, those those just fucking scary vibes. Yeah, and then you go, what are you thinking about? Um, uh, mopeds. <laughs> what is it, 1982? <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, and then Danny just doesn't shut up. Right. Yeah, Danny, the big one with the big head. Yeah. And the weird back. So, oh, I noticed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So how you doing, man? I'm so glad you came on. It's good to see you. I'm, I'm glad to be here, man. It's always uh, it's always fun to see you. Um. Uh, I'm doing well. I, I just flew in last night and uh, got up early. For Robert Kelly, no, no, and um, you're the best. No, it's uh, it's good, man. I, I was just thinking about the fact. I love that when you came to see us. Yeah, I was I was just thinking about that. You had that great video of you getting hurt. Oh my my knee thing. The 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 Which one the sledding thing or the oh my my the the the, the snow tube incident. The snow tube. Yeah. yeah, it's so wild to have the video. Well, it's so wild that my wife took it, and in the video, she's laughing. <laughs> she doesn't know, though, how serious it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen, man, anytime I go, ow, yeah. she laughs. Right. There's something about when we get hurt yeah. that makes them immediately giggle. Uh, totally. But there's I also like a certain age where every ow is potentially life-threatening. Like, yeah. Now, owls are real. Dude, let me tell you something. When she saw me coming down the mountain at 900 miles an hour, spinning, <laughs> yeah. she should have been concerned. She, The camera should have came down. Mm -hmm. She was like a black chick at a McDonald's at 3 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. She did not budge off of my body. Yeah. And then when she saw me fly through the air, yeah. 
that should have been a thing. And then when she went up to me and then you okay, and I went, oh, no. Yeah. And I couldn't talk like I regularly talk. Yeah. Because I regularly talk like this. Yeah. Hey, Tom, how are you? Sure. And if I walked in, I went, <laughs> yeah. Tom, how are you? Yeah, be like, you'd be like, up? Yeah. You'd be like, Bobby, you okay? Yeah, let's call an ambulance. Sure. Yeah, let's call an ambulance. But yeah, she's, uh, I don't know what it is about wives. How long have you been married? 15. Now, your wife, it must be awesome to have a wife that is successful. It's great. It's right? great. Yeah. My wife doesn't even really have to work that much and yeah. still does extremely well. She kicks ass. She's got her own special that came out this year. And she sells tickets. It's she And she great. looks great. She looks great. She looks, I mean, her special, she looked like a, a movie star from back in the day. Yeah, she went for a whole look on that. Right. Um, but she also, I'll tell you this, this, I have to give her a credit on this. So we've been, like every comedian, I think, you know, everyone has merch. And yeah. we've done, you know, you do merch at your live shows, but then we developed, like, merch business from podcasting. Mm -hmm. And one day, so she's known, whenever she's on camera and specials and usually in podcasts, she does, like, this very distinct red lipstick. Yeah. So one day she's like, what if I had my own line? Like, I developed my own, and I was like, I did that thing where you're like, like, sure, sweetie. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cute. She's like, cute. Let, wait, you know what? Why don't we give her one? Yeah. And so, <laughs> she, you know, she kept bringing it up. And yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. So we had to find, she had to develop, it had yeah. to be proprietary. So yeah. you have to like develop your own mix. Yeah. And it's a company, you know, in it's Italy. Because it's Italy. Yeah. Oh. And, and so they send different ones and then they. Italy. Italy. Not. Uh, China, <laughs> right? Right. No, we say Italy now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, no, so. you think a little. You think of an Italian guy smoking, having pasta, <laughs> making yeah, lipstick instead of little like kids. Lipstick. <laughs> so he finally sends it. Whatever she picks, the one she wants. Yeah. Then develops a, or you know chooses a, a, a cap. Like women always lose the cap, you yeah. know. So it has a magnet. So when you go, it it pops. It's a whole design. It's but good. anyways, I'm like, yeah, you know, sure. Yeah. Who the fuck's gonna buy sure. lipstick? So it, it, I'm in. I, I it sounds great. Well, it has become far and away <laughs> the number one seller of all time of anything we've ever sold. You kidding me? We've had, so the first time we did it, we did like oh, why don't we just start with like 150, right? And then they were like, oh, this sold out in like a few seconds. So I was like, all right, order it again, a few more. Now we reorder them in uh 5000 units really and then how much a pop i don't, don't even, i don't want to know your profit but just how but i don't, I don't even know I have if i'm going to buy my wife one you don't, even, look, you don't I, even know i don't even know you don't even know what this what you sell all it i for. know i all i know it is it's the number one seller by a mile no shit yeah to the point where she's she has three new colors coming out and like i think we're becoming a makeup brand <laughs> <laughs> because like it's oh but I'd love to see you on some fashion show in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, just do it. Buongiorno. Oh, look at that. Christina P's perfect red. I mean, dude, it's genius. It is genius, and it's 100% her. See, because I got a thing maybe we could do together. Maybe yeah. now that you're in this. Ready? Yeah. This is a big deal. Okay. I'm not, I've told a couple people about this, but I think we can make a lot of money off of this. Let's hear it. The flanker. The flanker? Yeah. Steak? No. What is it? Open your brain up. Okay. Think about it. Okay. The flanker. I have no idea what it Take is. Take one. Just let it go. Let it go, Tom. The flanker. The flanker. What do you think of when you think of the flanker? I mean, oh, I was thinking of hanger steak. No. Um, no, not steak. Is it a... When you go... You've been on vacation? Yeah. You've been in a pool? Sure. You've been on the ocean on a float? Right. What happens? You're all. You wake up down the fucking. You're in. You're in Aruba. All of a sudden, you wake up in Venezuela. Oh shit! Right? Yeah. What do you need? You need a flanker. You need an anchor <laughs> for the float. Flanker. Flank. Oh, dude. Every float needs an anchor. Comes with a bag. Okay. Waterproof. How does it not pull the float down beneath the surface? You fill it with sand. Okay. Or you fill it with. You know, some rocks or something. How right? long have you been thinking about the flanker? Years. <laughs> Tom. It has I'm, that feel. Baba, listen to me. You go to the store. You go you've been on vacation. Sure. Look at I know you're loaded now, so your vacations are different. No, right? no, I know I know exactly what 
you know, you go, most people go on vacation. We go to the Holiday Inn and a room. You go, you go, you get the kids, so get a float. Yeah. You spend twenty dollars on a float. Yeah. And then you throw it away, right? Yeah, nonsense. Not the flanker. No way. The, every float, right? There comes has to be. with a little anchor with a rope that with a finger ring. Is there one vacation that set this off th this idea off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? There is. Which one? I was in Aruba. <laughs> okay. And I was on a float <laughs> and I woke up on the other side of the fucking island. And I, I fell asleep, I had a sunburn, and I was like, fuck! Yeah. If I just had an anchor for my float... You never would have floated away. Hence the flanker. You scoop up now. I went and made one last year. You made one? I went to the... Before I left, <laughs> my wife ate There's me. a prototype flanker There's a there? prototype flanker. Okay. I went to the store before I left, and I got some cordage... I got a, a, a key ring yeah. that fit my finger, an oversized key ring, right? Yeah. And I bought the bag, and I tied it to the bag. And when I went there, I go out the float, yeah. and then I scoop sand in it. I put it down, and then I put it on my finger, and guess where Bobby stayed the whole time? Right there. Right where you want. People were walking up to me going, well, how, what is that? What is that? It's, go, the fucking, it's the flanker. It's the Gen 1 They were flanker. like, what? Yeah. They're like, the flanker. And they're like, yeah. what? Flanker? I was like, flanker. It's like a float anchor. Oh! oh shit. Dude, that's yeah. a good idea. It's a good idea, dude. The people who don't pursue these ideas are, are the ones that kind of... So you're in. Oh, I'm in. Oh, you're in. Oh, fuck yeah, man. It'd be hilarious if you took it. Yeah. If you, you and Christina it on the took website? it, it's on the website, yeah. and it's your number two bestseller yeah, right yeah, after like, lipsticks. Bobby, thanks for that idea. And yeah. like, no, we were developing that yeah. together. <laughs> like, it's lipstick, flanker, yeah. two bears hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two bears hat. For so me. that's wild, man. So, yeah. it, But it is like, I mean, my wife... She's a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. She had a, a, a jewelry business she was into for a second. Yeah. And I was all behind it. You know what I mean? But then, you know, she was making the jewelry by herself, and she got some weird wart, wart on her finger. I was like, you got to stop that, because yeah. I'll, th I'll, I'll throw it out. <laughs> throw it I don't care warts. if we're going to make a gazillion dollars. Yeah. If your hand looks like that, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. And is you it know? from the jewelry? It's from, yeah, the, the wire. The metals? And, yeah, she oh. didn't, she's supposed to wear a thing. Uh, or hire somebody to do it. Wow. You know. Sure. Somebody, you know, somebody Italian, somebody Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, uh, it's weird because you guys are like a power couple. I mean, yeah, I guess, but you know. you're the most normal. This is a weird thing about you guys. You guys are the nicest people. Like everybody that does your show. Yeah. Is like, they're so, they're great. They're yeah. awesome. It's so fun. They're oh, so not nice. a lot. Yeah. And it, it's like, you know, I've never heard a bad thing about you. Well, I mean, I don't know, man. We, we, I don't think much has changed about how we really are from, you know, starting this thing forever ago. We were just like two open micers yeah. who met and just pursued this lunacy that we do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got obviously like some super lucky breaks and then you just try to keep doing what you do, you know? Yeah, I but mean, you, dude, you are one of the biggest comics in the world, Tom. Um... I don't know. I guess uh so f I fucking love you even more that you just got humble. Well, I mean I look, I think it's crazy that uh some of these opportunities happen. Like I really do. It's it yeah. does seem I you know I called my agent the other day cuz you know how do your offers come in in emails? Yeah. So, you know, they come in pretty regularly when you're like gearing up for touring, right? Right. And I I had this moment where I was like with with everything you do, you do get used to things after a while. Sure. And I was like, man, I gotta I gotta send him a message. And I was like, hey, man, I just hope you know that I'm super used to this by now. But but I have to tell you, thank you that these are still amazing offers. You know, like right? Because uh, you get you were grateful. I was yeah. I just was like, I it, I shouldn't just be like yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> move on and without acknowledging that like hey this isn't normal yeah what you're you know? getting is holy shit it's holy shit you're but, getting a salary but yeah exactly you're getting a salary but i like i i was like i need to tell him thank you thank you that mm. i know that we do this we you know how you did tell him though how his porsche <laughs> yeah yeah his well i still talk shit <laughs> on stage about him yeah his yeah. his you know his built-in pool yeah yeah you told him. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You know his Rolex? Yeah, yeah. That one? That one is... 
He can look down at that and go, fucking Tom. Yeah, yeah. What a good guy. What a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then no. go to the other one and go, Tom's such a sweet dude. <laughs> what a guy. But it is crazy. Boop, right? beep, boop, beep. <laughs> Tom O. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Yeah. No. Yeah. It is crazy. It it's, is it's, crazy. it's, it's, look at man. That, that, it's, if you don't feel uncomfortable talking about it, but no. to be like, to do that, to do what we do. Yeah. There's so many levels of it, right? There's so many. And even at, I was telling somebody today, it's like, dude, you know, you look at guys who are making so much money, right? There's a crazy amount of money. I remember one night I was downstairs years ago at the cellar, and I think it was Louis, when Louis first started making money. Yeah. And he, he was like, where are you next weekend? And I was like, oh, I got to go to wherever, fucking, you know, Hartford, Connecticut, the funny bone. He goes, how much are you making? And I was like, I'm making whatever. Yeah. This I don't know, five grand or whatever. Yeah. Maybe less for five shows. Mm -hmm. And he goes, uh, and he wrote on a piece of paper, he goes, I'm making that for one. And it was like a house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In a good neighborhood. Sure. Not even a bad neighborhood. Sure, sure. It was like, it a was a really like, nice house. It was a nice house yeah. in Cleveland. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. And I was like, ow. How? Yeah. It like hurt. Yeah. But then I was, I was talking to somebody about it. I go, listen, man, because they were bitching about it, and I had to like, I literally, had to, I go, look, I make, I make doctor money, sure, telling dick jokes. Yeah. I mean, it's a foot doctor. Sure. It's sure. not. A, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not saving lives. But he's doing procedures. I'm He'll, doing. I'm. People walk better because of me. Yeah. Yeah. That you know fucking what I mean? nail that hurts. Yeah. You, you plant the fasciitis. Sure. I'm on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not helping. I'm not saving you from cancer. The it is feast or famine weird business to be in. You know, people yeah. like they go, you know, this is this crazy, and you go, it is fucking crazy. It yeah. is insane. It's insane. Two things that I always point out to people: one, I fully acknowledge that part of the craziness, at least of right now, yeah. is that we're doing stand up in this era. Meaning, like, if I was the same guy doing all the same shit, and it was. 1999 2000 like the it just that wouldn't be it's not the, the atmosphere the culture like it's just not possible no it, you would have to have a sitcom about your thing right you know what i mean sure and even then yeah it probably wouldn't even be what it is right now there's just the it internet would, yeah it would be good for a minute yeah. most most likely you'd have a five seasons or something be good sure you get residuals you probably go off in the distance but it wouldn't be Seinfeld. It was no. that Romano. Those are rare things. Those are real. But that things. was how you. That was the way you made it. You happened to make it in podcasting. Yeah. And Netflix. It's, and Netflix just happened to like come up at the same time. Same time. It's yeah. just like this. This you know, it's like when somebody develops a a computer product and it just meets right. the the right audience right and the need yeah. of society at the same. All those things. That's yep. the luck of it coming together. Yeah. So you're Apple. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm Dell. <laughs> Dell's no, pretty sweet. I'm not, I'm not Dell. I'm Gateway. <laughs> Man, I'm not, I'm not Gateway. Yeah. I'm, think of another one, nerds. He's uh, Lenovo. No, no, Lenovo. Yeah. No, I'm, what's the one that, <laughs> what's the one that Steve, Steve Jobs came up with when he left Apple? What was that one? What did he, Bella he, or some shit? He did one when he left? Yeah. He, when he left, they kicked him out. He went and started his own company. I always think about there's like these people. In those business stories that fascinate me like you can find if you guys search you can find there was a third guy there was steve jobs steve wozniak and another guy when they developed apple yeah and the third guy you could find that like the handwritten contract when he sells his shares uh, back to them for like 800 bucks uh, or like you know a couple thousand dollars jesus the guy Christ. that the uh, then ceo is that who it is sully scully um, it's Ron, uh, Ronald Wayne. Ronald Wayne, and you can find his uh, what's his doing? contract where he sold the shares. Like, is it, he still around? I don't remember if he killed himself. Or yeah, he, I, I hope he killed. Look yeah. at, I don't like suicide, but I yeah. hope he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> I really. And I want to say there's a similar one for like Victoria's oh. Secret. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. There so he is. Eight hundred bucks, dude. Eight hundred. How much would it, How much would it be worth now? 10% of Apple? Dude. <laughs> it's like easily two grand. I don't know. What, what is 10% 10 10 of Apple? Of it has Apple. to have that. Somebody came up with the answer to that. What's 10% of Apple? You have now? to find that. 
It's crazy. I mean, they're they they set the new they set records every year for like their their uh their the actual cash on hand that they have. Really? Apple has more cash on hand than entire countries. Like what 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 they just like you know, they don't pay any corporate tax because we have that loophole here. So like they I don't know. They, and they do so much tre tremendous business. 250 <laughs> <laughs> is he dead? Please tell me he's dead. <laughs> Please tell me he didn't make it. Is he still around? If he has an Instagram, you need to follow him right now. Oh, it's just his kids going, he's thanks, like, Dad. I have these hats. You guys want a hat? <laughs> he steals my flanker idea. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm getting back that money with the flanker. But is I mean, he dead? Um, no. He's still alive. Oh Please find God. him. I want to see what he's doing. I want to see what he's doing. And you have to like do that thing where you, where if he is alive, where he's alive, yeah. you have to do that. 89 years old. 89? 89. 89. He does wow. that thing though. He's like, I'm good with it. Yeah. You know, I found peace with it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, you didn't. Yeah. I do that with not getting a Netflix special. Yeah. I'm dude. I don't need that. I'll just put it on, put it on YouTube. Dude, it's about selling. Yeah. I'll get, yeah. dude, I'll sell tickets. I hate Actually. This. It's a weird fucking comedy. Comedy's so fucking weird right now. It's so weird. The it's, specials thing is very strange. It's too. I think the specials it's, thing is like reminds me of. I mean, kind of like podcasts or albums where someone was like, "Oh, you can. Someone can do that. Like you can just do that." Mm -hmm. And the problem with the specials is that people, and we sound like arrogant saying this, mm -hmm. but you know, we've been doing it a while, so we have this perspective on it. There's so many people who are like, "Yeah, you're not. This isn't ready." No. Like you're that's that's why it didn't right. do anything. Yeah. It, you're not ready. It's the same one person who goes, Oh, I'm posting a, a clip of all my stand up. And you're like, Yeah, you shouldn't do this. Yeah. You should wait. Yep. You should wait. Well, because they care more about the uh the number of people they, that follow them yeah, because if a club looks at that, they go, Oh if they have a million people following them, that's you know, more than a guy, you know. I mean, dude, getting followers is it's a I don't understand it. You know, it's like you think of, it doesn't make sense. What does it say? Oh, my God. He ran a stamp shop. Well, but but st <laughs> st it's, a, it's a passion project. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Maybe yeah. he loves stamps. Wayne ran a stamp shop in where? Milpitas? Milpitas. Milpitas, California, for a short time. After a number of break-ins, they robbed him. He transfers his stamp operation to his home. Ah, they were robbing his good stamps. Oh they robbed the, the upside down plane stamp. <laughs> oh my God. What? Oh, this poor guy. Wait. Steve, oh, wait a minute though. Steve Jobs, read that Steve Jobs approached him. What does that say? Steve Jobs approached him. Not you. Oh, sorry. Them. I'm sorry. Sorry. You fucking. I was like, I thought you were <laughs> you, you know, they, These assholes should be reading this. Read it! Uh, I just lost. Oh my God! Um, uh, Tom, yell at him. He'll listen to you. No, Tom, say Steve, something. Steve Jobs. Read. Dang. <laughs> Steve Jobs approached him again as as a business contact for Apple, but Wayne refused to forward at, forward Jobs' proposal to purchase a friend's company. Oh my God! Uh, Wayne's belief was that his friend should re retain ownership of the company, supplying this technology to Apple under an uh, exclusive license instead of selling the business. Uh, Wayne later expressed regret for interfering with this decision instead of allowing the negotiations negotiations to be made directly between the parties. No, that's not good. All right. You think now? Let me ask you a question. If you own, if you were Steve Jobs, and then you did all this shit later in life, and this company became that, and you were like, "Dude, we fucked. We fucked him." What's his name? John. What's his name? Um, uh, Wayne. Wayne. Ron Ronald. Wayne. Ronald. Ronald. Hey, yo, Waz. Yo, Waz. I'm Steve. Waz. Yeah. Yo, Waz, what's yeah. up, man? What's up, man? Nice watch, dude. Thanks, bro. What's up, brother? What's up, doc? Dude, I got to talk to you. Yeah. Waz, we got this company, man. We're kicking it. Killing it. We're changing the world, dude. Yeah. That commercial with the fu that, that bitch who threw the thing. Yeah, it's Shh. incredible. Dude, cra we got we to gotta, we gotta hit up Ronald, dude. We, fu we fucked him. Yeah, we did. We got to hook him up. What do you think we should give him? To fucking, what would we get for the his 10%? 800 bucks? It's, it's 800 bucks, but it's worth 250 billion right now. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? He loves stamps. 
<laughs> you want to get him a bunch of stamps? <laughs> I say we get him a Muhammad Ali stamp yeah. and a uh, like a like a um, Nelson Mandela. Remember that one that came out? Yeah, you do that. Some collectibles. Some collectible ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also the new ones where you don't have to lick them. Those are great. We give him some of those. You know. You oh, just why don't we get him, him a on. digital stamp machine? Uh, Stamps.com. Stamps. That reminds <laughs> us. Stamps.com. <laughs> uh, would you give the guy money? Yeah, dude. You would absolutely. How much would you give? But I have to. I carry. You know, I have like. Catholic guilt. I mean, like yeah. I, I, I bonus well. I tip well. I feel like somebody who, if he, this guy like founded this with me, it would it would eat me up if I had that much. It's one thing to be like, yeah. we run this business and it's done fairly well, and this was. But if you go, it went to the literal moon. Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, what would like famous people historically cheap? Like rich people historically cheap. Some. Of them, I think the Catholic thing. I think you, no. I've seen examples of this that are just mind of like the uber wealthy, you know, like they just dude, dude, I I've actually had to tip limo guys to things, events. Yeah. Like where I get out of the car and I'm like, he, and I was like, I got you, dude. Yeah. He's like, he's like thanks. You have to tip well. Yeah. I mean, and I, I like I've tipped them with like certain famous people. Yeah. But they just them. get out of the car. Yeah. Like no story of a fucking, this person told me this was funny to her. But I was like, it, it's funny in the story, but it's like, there's a difference between like the way something plays out in a story, mm -hmm. in a movie, on television, yeah. where you're like, that's fun. And then the reality of it. Sure. And this person was a bar, is a bar, was a bartender. And she said she had to, she was, she's Jewish. So they made her work on Christmas day. Right. Well, at this, at this bar. Right. Makes Put them sense. in their fucking spot. Of course. So he, uh, she's do fuck working. with you on Yom Kippur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's working the this park bar. park over my street. <laughs> and she said that like, you know, very few people come into the bar, but then, you know, one person here, one person there. And then this celebrity comes in and the celebrity comes in, sits at the bar, orders drinks for hours and, you know, has some conversation and then the bill comes after this like drinking for a while yeah and then she tells him the 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 bill i think he pulls out cash blah 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 she gives him his correct change back which included some coins a couple of quarters mm -hmm. and he took two fingers put them on the quarters and goes merry christmas and then walked and then she said i fell down laughing that he tipped me 50 cents but i was like yeah like it's a funny bit right but the it's funnier if he then turns around and gives her a, a couple hundred that bucks but like i've also i'll have to tell you later but i've heard other stories about this person where you're like jesus Christ. is it a famous famous person or is it somebody we know it's a famous famous person is somebody we know yeah no yeah 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 oh, because i know comics that do it that's just not cool man i don't think that's cool uh, as a comic a hundred percent not because we come from such gritty shit there's no comic really that didn't go through the shit. That's impossible. Like we all kind of go through that it's shit. Impossible. And yeah. when you come up, you know, like actors, you're going from a rich family yeah. to a school of act, and then to maybe getting a part. Yes. And then because so I under that a little more makes sense to me that you just that twat your whole life. Sure. Right. But a comic, we're we're fucking. There's this great reminder at the comedy store. Because at the comedy store, when you park your car, you're getting it like moved around mm -hmm. by one of the up and coming comics. Right. That is like, I am living on a hundred and twelve dollars a week. Or right. Whatever. Yeah, is. yeah. Right. So like there's this great moment where like if you're in a position to do it, they give you your car and you get to go, here's fifty bucks or whatever. And they're like, dude, I'm gonna eat off of this for days. Dude, I remember you know? I remember I remember that, like in the cellar, yeah. my first paid spot, and I got to eat mm. somewhere else other than the comedy cellar, you know, because I would I would do spots here. You got food spots, yeah. They would feed you yeah. until Russ Mani fucked it up because he got seven main dishes. Yeah, went downstairs. He had thir three thousand dollars worth of food. Yeah, every night, and they were like, "All right, no, only certain people get food spot." It's always comics fucking ruin shit. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, it's we always fuck. I remember there was one place in Florida, Naples. They were like, "Dude, they have jet skis and right up." They had a house right on the on the on the water. You just go right out and take the jet skis. And of course, some comic got fucked up and did meth and then smashed the jet skis and he went to some dumb holiday. Ruined it for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, dude, I, I know comics, but there are comics that are generous as shit, like Rogan. Oh my God. Dude, it's almost, I feel like- People don't know, and he'll never, he's not going to tell anyone. No. But I, yeah, he I've is, been around him for years, and it's- Yeah, he's, like, I, I mean, he's almost, he like, he, like, even when you do his club, you're like, dude, you don't need to do this. Like, he's like, hey, you want to work here? You're like, yeah. And then you get the, ch you're like, thanks, dude, because yeah. you, just, you, you could, you just gave me money. I can't even say this. Yeah. Like, I, I'll tell you off my, I was literally, but he was like, he called me up. I was on tour. Yeah. This is like in, during 21. Mm -hmm. I'm on tour, but I have like a few days off. And he's like, hey, do you want to come uh, open? He's like, I know, you know, he does like, I, you know. I know, I know, yeah. yeah. I know, but like, would you open for me and Chappelle at this thing? And I was like, I looked at, I had the open date, and I was like, sure, I'd love to. I go to it. I don't even know. Uh, I don't ask for anything. I'm of course. just like, yeah, thanks. Yeah. There's a room, shows crazy. The amount, like, when they were like, here's what you're getting paid, I was like, dude. <laughs> You can, you don't have to do this. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, "No." He's like, "You're you're a headliner, and yeah. you know you make great money." Yeah. So I was like, "I did twenty minutes. You just yeah. you just bought me a house." Yeah. For doing twenty minutes. Yeah. He's like, "That's what you know. That's what you're supposed to get." And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "This is and that's and you can't tell him no." Hang on, um, hang on one second. Yeah, guys, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> He uh, <laughs> also talk about tipping. I mean, I've seen the tips that he leaves, and I'm like, your eyes water. You're like, oh, yeah, but God. it makes you feel good. That, it makes like, you feel great. It makes you feel good that there's some, you know, there are people like that. Absolutely, because that actually it 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 becomes something where you go, oh, I I I'm gonna take from that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. That's the example yeah. I want to take from. Yeah, like, Russell Peters is another guy. Russell Peters is another. Ge I mean, generous. God damn, I yeah. love generous people. Yeah. Uh, this is too generous too. Like Verzi, Verzi will tip the toll guy. It's like guy, <laughs> the toll guy. Like, hey, dude, here's twenty. It's like dude, chill. <laughs> toll was Take it out. easy. The toll was eight bucks. Yeah, you just Keep gave that. me twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, you tipped everybody, dude. Yeah. You gotta tip the toll guy, dude. I like <laughs> the generous people. It's I do too, man. That's why I think you should give me a Rolex. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I will. Yeah, day date. Day -day. Platinum. Listen, the thing is, no, I'm kidding. Um, you have kids, right? Yeah, I have two. You never talk about them. You never see them. You never really. And we don't. Yeah, my wife and I made the. Uh, we we did we did the opposite for like the. I just feel like the world that we kind of created for ourselves. Yeah. At least online. Yeah. Was not like child friendly. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. we were, we just never posted photos or anything. I mean, we talk about them in podcasts. I talk about them on stage. Yeah, yeah. But I just I also just kind of went with that like, yeah, you know, I let them have as much anonymity as they want, and like yeah. if they if they want to be in the thing, public, public, like that'll be in a few years. Right? So How just, old are they? Uh, one turns eight this week, and the other one is five. Five. Okay. Yeah. 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 My kid. Every time I'm doing something, which wants to jump in it. Yeah. And I actually did a. I kind of fucked them. I did a, this company sent me a, uh, <laughs> they sent, you know, people send you shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and stuff you like too. Sure. You know? Yeah, I, they I, ruin I, it. The kids ruin it. No, it's not that. It's that I wound up doing like Pillow Cube. You ever see the Pillow yeah, Cube? Yeah, sure. So I had a bad thing. So I got this pill and it works. It's amazing. Yeah. Love it. It's a square pillow. So you're a side sleeper. Sure. It just keeps your head from, because I did this. Yeah, sure. And I got a nerve thing, and I got this, and, and this is they helping. sent one for my kid. Yeah. So I just did a story. Sure. Hey, man, and it was me and Max. Yeah. And he, I don't, he just did the most adorable thing. He, I forget what he said, but it was like a perfect commercial. Yeah. Like you couldn't have written a, and I sent it. I put it on the story, and they used it. Yeah. A couple times, and but then they used it as their ad. That's an ad now for like yeah. three years. Yeah. At Christmas, like hey, it was there. How about you send a little bit more? Well, I was I was getting a little fucking. It was like, listen, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this is getting a little fucked up. And sure. they sent me a. They were like, listen, we're so sorry, we didn't yeah. know, but yeah. you know, he's uh, he's he he loves it. That's awesome. He loves it, and I know there's people that don't, you know, but I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. I don't, you know, I I'm the. I'm the thing with, uh, I love, I love being a dad so much. I just, I fucking, it's, great. it's, I love it. 
It's the best, dude. They it's, are. It's the you have boys or girls? I have two boys, and they're just fucking. Isn't it the fucking best? You know what's funny is like you, you'll you... understand this, but like yeah. So when I was a kid, my dad, my dad's only kind of sports passion was football. Yeah, and I just took to it. Like like I, I'm saying, like he loved football. I love football. Yeah. Football was our whole. And then when I had boys, I was like, oh. I get to like continue this. Sure. It was last, you know, it was like last month I was watching a game and both of my boys go, can we make it a thing that we never watch football again? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, we football's so dumb and we hate it so much. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to have that relationship. <laughs> but I've, my approach to sports, because they each have their, you know, when you have two, you especially see how like distinctly different sure, yeah. two human beings' interests are. Like they're not, nothing similar. And <laughs> and my whole thing with sports was like, I just want them to be active yeah. and find something they like. Yeah. And so my thing was just, well, just expose them to a lot and see what takes. Yeah. So like tennis was the first thing we got the older one involved in. And he did some lessons. And then when we moved, I, he did another lesson and he walked out of the lesson and he goes, please fire me. He was trying to say quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, fire me, please. I hate this so much. And I was like, all right. Did soccer. And he was like, I fucking hate this. And I was like, okay. Flag football. It's like, it's like you could tell he's kind of it, but not like. Yeah. And now they're both die hard into jujitsu. Dude. He asked me if we could go five days a week. And I go, absolutely not. I have fucking shit to do, man. <laughs> five days a week? Dude, my, my kid is the same thing. Really? Dude, I, I put him in baseball. Yeah. Right? I was like, like, all right, dude, I was in baseball. You're like, you're going to love it. I love Little League. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love the outfit, the, the little belt, the hat. You picture all the games coming up. You're like, it's going to be great. I hear Max. Max. His yeah. coach screaming. Yeah. Because I'm out in the middle field mm -hmm. on my chair. Yeah. Away from all the fucking crazy parents. Sure. And I look, he's got all the balls. He took the balls, the practice balls, and he brought a Sharpie from home, and he was signing them <laughs> and giving them out to the other team's That's parents. That's hilarious, dude. And he's, he's right. What's he, your name? <laughs> dude, I swear to God. He's signing them yeah. going, here you go. Enjoy the game. Yeah. And he's signing it. And he has Say to, hi he, to your family for me, man. He's right? going, Max, you're up. He's got to go bat. Yeah. He's up to bat. Yeah. He's out there. So I'm like, that's not the sport for him. Yeah. Then football. My kid runs, he doesn't pick his knees up. Yeah. Did you ever see the, sh the movie Taken, the yeah. way the girl runs? Yeah, yeah. That's the way That's my how son your son runs. I've literally been in the front yard trying to say, please bring your knees up. Yeah. You're embarrassing your father. Yeah. The way you run. Come on. You run like Forrest Gump. Sure. And he, does, he, he just doesn't run. And then if you look, I would look on the sideline, he'd be just playing with dirt. On the sidelines, yeah. and they wouldn't. So football's out. Like, Basketball, we're in a mostly, uh, um, uh, you know, it's not. It, let's put it this way: if we're in a different area, like a whiter school district. Yeah, he probably play good. Have a shot. But our school district is just. It's mostly black and Spanish. Yeah, and, they, and they're good, dude. They're fucking born for that shit, yeah, buddy. Yeah. They're so good. I I'm know. like, I'm like going, dude, is he? And my kid's just fucking down there. Yeah. He doesn't know go he doesn't know that he has to go back and forth. He just stays down on defense and let, waits for them to come back. Yeah. Just hanging out. Yeah, like he's yeah. I'm so, here. But yeah. jujitsu, dude, I take him at Igor Gracie. Yeah. He needed somebody to try to kill him for an hour. Dude. He needs somebody just to grab his and lapel. The cool thing is like you watch them pop. Yeah. We're like we he finishes class and he was like, Yeah. He's like just like jazzed. He was like you know, he's looking at me when he pins someone yeah. and, and then when they tap and he's like, see that shit? I'm like, yeah, dude, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. He, he, and yeah. then he walks out, he goes, I love this. I love this. I want to come back every day. And I'm like, calm down. Here's, yeah, here's the good. scary part about it. Yeah. I came home like a couple months ago and he had the jujitsu mats in the living room and he was doing the sprawls. He had full gi. Sprawls, 930 at night. Bedtime in around 15 minutes. Yeah. Sprawls. Jiu-jitsu sprawls. And, I, and I'm like, I walk in, I go, hey, man. I'm like, what's up, bro? Mm-hmm. What it, what's going on? He's like, takes it. He has a mouthpiece and he takes it out. You, Matt. And I went, what? <laughs> I go, listen to it. That's great. I got to do this bedtime. Yeah. He goes, you, Matt, let's go. How old is he? 10. <sighs> I'm going to show you a picture of him, though. Yeah. 10. To, so we went on the mat and I had to hurt him. Yeah, well, you got to remind them. Sometimes. I had to hurt him. I remind my kids. <laughs> I had to hurt him. I'm going to show you this picture and all I, don't, the I time. want you not to smile. Okay. 
or laugh. Okay. Smile. You can't smile or laugh. That's my kid. That's my kid. That's awesome. Dude, dude. I said, please don't work at a chocolate factory. (laughs) The shades are fucking rad. Dude, dude, this fucking kid's in fifth grade. He goes, this is what I'm wearing. My wife was like, no. I go, if you stop this, you're an asshole. Yeah, you got to let that. This photo will live with us forever. And the thing about that photo and the fact that he did that is that that is before you are infected by the insecurities and mm-hmm. the and the it, like yeah. it's totally genuine yeah this is what feels good this is what looks good yeah i know i'm i know this is cool and you're not it's like when you're in a you when you're 22 you start to go like oh what you know what do i look okay i don't know these glasses aren't cool or yeah. i gotta do this with my hair like all those things this is the innocence oh, that's yeah. why that's great like yeah. that's the innocence of truly being yourself yep that's that's only thing only kids really have that that and like 80 year old men who are like fuck off you know? yeah and and fucking gazillionaires sure gazillionaires yeah. when they're just like whatever yeah the post rich we call them yeah the ones who are just like yeah elon yeah like where they pull up in the fucking whatever goddamn bugatti yeah and then they get out and they're wearing like sandals yeah and you know cargo shorts and you're like what the fuck and he's like yeah, i don't give a shit yeah elon is like it's like elon uh, he's beyond mm-hmm. you know what i mean like there was a point where he was paypal rich yeah where he got his f- ferrari yeah that's right that. yeah that, that mclaren comes out of the back yeah and yeah. if they bring it down he's yeah. like there's only one of these whatever accent yeah. i don't know what accent he's, he has he's like and then uh, now he just wears the same thing every day. Yeah. Like a uniform. What those, that's what they all do. It's this, weird. Jobs did that. Zuckerberg does that. And what is that? That is like, they the, the way it was explained, like I heard one of them say it, was that by having the uniform every day and not having to choose what to wear, it's one less thing that has to occupy my mind. Because there's not enough hard drive space. In, in, the, in the brain. That's right. I'd have to swap it out. So I just go, same shirt, same pants. Do you know how much hard drive space? Dre does this too, by the way. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre? Dr. Dre has a daily, like, he has the 70 pairs of shoes that are the same, right. shirt, pants, and he's just like, every day. We should start doing that. Yeah, I know, right? We Who should be the first comic that goes, no, I, just, I don't want to think about that. I'm wearing a Barracuda jacket, yeah. a white t-shirt, and Richie Cunningham jeans. Dude, I love it. All the time. Every day. Yeah, but the problem is I have so much hard drive space available in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by GhostBed. To be the funniest person in the room, you got to make sure you're well-rested. It's hard to come up with good jokes when you are sleep-deprived. So if you're not sleeping well, it's time to grab a new mattress from GhostBed. Take advantage of free and fast shipping. Their 101-night mattress sleep trial and financing starting at $35 a month. You heard me. You can get a brand new mattress for as low as $35 a month. Listeners get 40% off all products site-wide. You can get 40% off mattresses, adjustable bases, and bedding accessories, or get 50% off when you bundle a mattress and an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide, limited time only. Today's episode of YKWD is brought to you by BetterHelp. Listen, this is the season to be jolly, But you know what? It also gets kind of sad, depressing, overwhelming, anxiety. A lot of stuff happens now. It gets dark out early. It's dark out when you wake up. and It's getting cold. Let me tell you something right now. I benefit from therapy. You know why? Because if I'm healthy, just like going to the gym, you got to do your soul. You got to do your brain. Mental health. If my mental health is on point, I feel good. If I feel good, I'm treating people well. If I treat people well, treat myself well, my life is good. I feel happy. No more emotional hangovers. That's why therapy for me, a neutral place where I can tell people and talk to people and it's not going to affect my relationships in my life. BetterHelp is convenient, flexible. It suits to your schedule. The problem with therapy is you have to drive into some place, find a parking spot, wait in a hallway. God forbid you bump into somebody who went in before you that you know. This is not that. It's the new way to do it. It's the better way. It's flexible, convenient, your schedule. You can change therapists anytime you want. If you don't like them, get a new one. And there's no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash dude today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dude. 
Yep. How come you have never been on TV, dude? How come you never had like a, a series? Are you just, are you just like, fuck it, I'm doing this, I'm podcasting with my wife, I'm doing my own podcast. What's that kid's name you do the podcast with? Brent? No, the other kid. Um, What's the guy's name? Bart? No, it's with a B. Barry? No, the kid, the, the podcast you do. <sighs> His name. Um, oh. Bert. 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 Yes. Fucking Bert. Diabetes. Has he got it? He's got diabetes, yeah. Oh. Type 2. But you can get out of that. That's so weird that, like, manifestation does work. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. That is crazy. I did not think that that shit you, worked. You just prayed on it? <laughs> I said it out loud. Yeah. You have to, verba give you have to, to verbalize give it, to it. Give it to him, yeah. But no, it was, it was the uh, the walls of lack and delay now crumble away. Yeah. Please give Bert diabetes. No, he doesn't yeah. have diabetes, does he? Yeah, I think so. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wrote shit. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Bert, God bless. He's oh. having a gallbladder removed or something like that. What the f Is he just going to get stuff done? New yeah. stuff? He's, He's getting that state of the art, though, insulin thing where they sew it into your body. So you don't have to like. So he has diabetes, diabetes. Yeah, yeah. Where they, they will, it'll automatically. Inject you. Yeah, you don't have to think of it. Dude, I, I, I used to f have sex with a girl who had the one on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was really cute, too. Really? But it was just like, like it was over here. Yeah. And it was hooked into her body, and it would yeah. go beep or some shit, and just gush. Yeah. Eh. You Ugh. can't really have good sex with a device Ugh. going into her body. Yeah, that's... Yeah. You're, were you like, just turn on the side that I don't have to see it? It was, you know, yeah. it was gross, dude. Yeah. She was a little chubby, too. I'm like, why don't you stop eating? Um, <clears throat> uh, no, I, I um, well, I've always wanted to do that stuff. I actually, I can't make the, say the thing, but it'll be announced. I sold a show. You did? Yeah. And it's a, and I got a serious commitment, so we're going to make the show. So you're making a show? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Is it, it's going to be on, of course. One of the things. One of the things you yeah. can't announce, yeah. but we know. Because you do one of the things, only one of the things. Mm. Maybe. Mm. You could do another thing? Maybe. Maybe another thing? It could be. Really? Well, maybe. Now, is it about your life? No. It, it's crazy? Is it's it weird? Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy and weird. It's yeah. crazy and weird. Yeah. Is it? Is it crazy and weird like... Um, I made a pilot on yeah. my own. So I funded the pilot. Right. Shot it. And then showed it. And then they were like, we'll make it. Really? Yeah. And is and so so it cost me a fucking fortune, but yeah, yeah, but it's worth. But it, it worked it. it yeah, worked it's out. worth it. Yeah, it's great. That's what you're supposed to use your money for. I think what so you, too. Yeah, yeah. It's like, do you want more stuff? Or do yeah, you what want are you to gonna like, buy? Yeah. What, 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 what are you gonna buy? Another? What kind of car you have? Which what? What kind? You have cars? Yeah. I, How I like many cars. cars you got? You all right? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what, Tommy? No, I don't. I don't know. You are you Seinfeld cars? No, 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 no. He's into like. The are you Rogan script. car? I mean, the Rogan light. He's also his collection has gotten pretty wild. Dude. He's yeah. He's always been into cars. Yeah, I love cars. So I, I I've always, I mean, when the opportunity was yeah. there, like you could get. I was like a you know I was a toy car kid. Yeah. And then I was car magazine kid where I was right. like every. What's your favorite car? That uh, you own. Oh, actually, it really is my GT4. Really? What does that look like? Oh, it's, that's like an old, that's a muscle No, no, car. it's a 718 GT4. It's a Porsche GT4. Oh, yeah. you have a Porsche. Yeah. I have a Ford Ranger. Yeah, those are yeah, cool. Those are cool. Yeah. Not too fast, but they're good. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are cool. Yeah, yeah, five and a half foot bed. Dude, that's, that's what's dude. up. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Electric blue. Woo. Yeah, that's Hard color cool. to get. I like that. Um... Yeah, but it's funny. Like it, people think, like when you drive, like I was like, dude, fuck it, just get a Honda. It's the same shit. Yeah. But when you drive, when you, I've driven a Porsche, there's it's not the same thing. I just, you know Duncan it's, Trussell. Yeah. You know Duncan, and he's like Mister fucking whatever the universe, third dimension. I love him. Buddhist. He's the best. Yeah. So we went to a track day at Coda, a circuit of the Americas in Austin, which, yeah. where they do the F one race. Sure. And some of us brought our cars. Yeah. And then. He just was like, they, they also provide some, yeah. like this group, and they were like, so he gets in a couple of these cars, comes out and takes his helmet off, and he's just like, yeah. dude, I go, you're fucked. 
Yeah. I go, you're, you're and I'm jokingly like, you're going to go fucking car shopping now. Mm -hmm. Text me <laughs> the next day from the Porsche dealership yeah. signing a, I was like, you went and got one? He got he a Porsche? The next day. Yeah, it's something different. It yeah. really is. Like, I, I just bought, we had a Honda for a long time, and it's not a Porsche, but we went up to a Lexus. Yeah. You know, Verzi was always in, dude, you got to get a Lexus, dude. Yeah. Dude, fucking Lexus, dude. <laughs> Lexus the fucking king, dude. Lexus. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a Lexus type of guy. Yeah. You know? You're a Honda. Dude, yeah. that, you're one of those. Yeah. You know, you know, that shit makes you feel bad for yeah, fucking, sure. getting a, you know, eco ec economically yeah. good car. Sure. You know? Yeah. Good resale value on yeah. a Honda CRV, by the way. Yeah. But uh, Hondas are amazing. They'll run. That's my very first car I ever drove was a Honda Accord, ninety five Honda Accord. Did and they run forever? You put like three hundred thousand miles on them. Because we we came from when cars, American cars, they fucked us. They yeah. just went to shit. Yeah. And the Japanese were. Dude, we yeah, dude, we had. A, I mean, what, you got a car and it lasted like a year. Sure. Remember those Oldsmobiles? Mm. Oh yeah, we yeah. had Oldsmobiles, the Cutlass Oldsmobile. Supreme. They were just terrible shit cars. Yeah. Like a Riviera. Yeah. Uh and. Okay, thank you. And um yeah, and then but then Honda came in. Japan was like, you know, hey. Yeah. We're gonna make a good car. Yeah. And they came in <laughs> hey. and made the greatest little shit car, two hundred thousand miles. They're incredible. They changed the game. And now I stepped into a Lexus. I got my wife a Lexus. I was like, There's you a float. You float it, but then there's the other when you go up to a Mercedes yeah. or a Porsche, yeah. there's another level of... The thing about them, like, first of all, I just, I, I look at life now as like, I'm so lucky that there's a thing that I have like that kind of excitement and passion about. Yeah. Because I could talk about cars. If you were like, I have a garage of cars down here, I'd be like, please, let's spend the next couple hours sure. just looking at them. Like, I just enjoy it that much. Yeah. But driving Porsches is like... There is they the engine the German engineering specifically of those once you drive them yeah. everything feels whack after it yeah. you just want to be in them yeah the way they handle the the connection between the the car feels like it's part of the street like right. you're just yeah. such a raw hang on one second yeah. it's never gonna happen <laughs> just, yeah I mean, we're talking about a lot of stuff yeah yeah <laughs> but I love I love them yeah yeah it's it's weird man you're like um. You know, I've always, I've you know seen you from a distance for so long, and you're so you're such a in your comedy, dude. You're you're around a bunch of crazy, awesome, loud comedians. You know what I mean? Yeah. That are very funny guys. You know Ari, the shit he does. Yeah. You know Burr. You know yeah. and Bert and and uh, and you're this subtle dude, man. You're very subtle. You remind me of Bennington, like Ron yeah, Bennington, I love that guy. where it's even your your podcast. Yeah. You're so quiet and subtle and funny and confident and 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 not in a dick way. You know what I mean? It's, oh, thanks, man. You, you're uh, you you you're very. It's it's um, you know, to me appealing. You know, because not many people can be funny, subtle. Like I toured with Bennington, and he would go out after Voss and and Florentine, and just just take the room. Pick it up yeah. and throw it away. Get yeah. a standing ovation and just go. All right, bye bye. I told him that like the one of my favorite things when I would listen to Bennington. This is like a decade ago. Was when callers would call in. Yeah, and they go, uh, "Hey, how you doing, Ron?" And he go, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. That, that was that. Like I go, I would laugh so hard at you just going, "Yeah, yeah." He said, he, "Yeah" to how you doing? Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. so fucking. Yeah. I mean, it's infuriating so how funny. great he lives his life. The th and, the, and, the, and everything, it's a throwaway, right? So yep. you go like, that's not a quote unquote joke. <laughs> but you're like, yeah, but I'm laughing harder at that. At that, yeah. Than the somebody's, Main thought, yeah. you know what I mean? Like set up punchline joke. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm so in my head about comedy, dude. Like I worry about how I say goodnight. Sure. And when I say it. Yeah. Like he'll be like, all right, I'll see you. Thank you. And they'll just walk off stage. Sure. Place just jumps up. I'm like, all right, thank you. Good night. Yeah. I'm Robert Kelly. Like, I fucked it up so many times. Sure, sure. <laughs> I went out, I went, I went, bang, bang. 
thing. Yeah. Like I don't. <laughs> it's like trying to figure out how to do it. Like I'm trying to get that thing. Yeah. Of when I I mean my first time in in Boston like sell I sold out the Wilbur. Yeah. I was so pr- I was like emotional. Oh yeah. And I remember at the end I was like guys I want to thank you for you know giving that stupid comic speech. Yeah. I want to thank you for you know being here for me. And I heard a guy go oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite by the way comic move for the the sellout thing. Yeah. We did this. Yeah, yeah. We did this. <laughs> yeah. Or <laughs> look what we did. Yeah. All of us the to new, here together. The, the new thing is, is when somebody takes the photo with the massive. Yes. Have you done that one? No, I haven't done it. You haven't no. done it? Uh, I've had my. So I have on tour, tour photographer who's like, turn like. So what I do is I say goodnight and he's always like, turn around and look at me. But there's also the setup one right. where it's like everybody pose here i haven't done that one i've done like i'm walking where it's like this yeah yeah and there's massive people behind you and then turn your turn your cell phone lights on no just no get it you can take your phones out now just turn your lights on yeah i would do that and there'd be a guy in a kiss shirt holding his wife's bag as she's walking out yeah and there'd be like the front row have three empty seats (laughs) and the and the mezzanine yeah would be dead it would just be an old lady in a theater suit, looking down, yeah, and like then, this. And then you got, but that's. Do you know how funny that post is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look at my show. I know. I just saw a Kiss, by the way. I did too, dude. I um. I saw him at Madison Square Garden. I saw them at the Moody in in Austin. Nick Simmons, Gene's son, Ooh, holy shit. hit us up and was like, "Do you want to come to the show?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out." And I didn't like grow up listening to Kiss, but I mean, of course, like you know, yeah, they're you're- part of the. The part culture. of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, sure. I go to this show, dude, and we're standing like in the, like under the stage, like in the pit right yeah. there. And I'm watching these guys put on like, it's the greatest, a, an incredible performance. And I don't even register it till like I'm walking out with Nick. I was like, how old's your dad? Like, how old's Jane? He's like 72. So I go, 72. it's a 72 year old, year old man right yep. there. That part is because I, I start thinking about, I know a bunch of people in their 70s, and I'm like, yo, this is unbelievable. Like, I almost had to cancel the Daniel Beach Improv this week because I hurt my knee. <laughs> I hurt my knee yeah. at a driving range. These guys are like launching off of like- They're coming down. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, that part really stuck with me. And I also saw Peter Gabriel in concert, which was unfucking believable Peter Gabriel? Unreal in your eyes. But here's the thing: that man. one, yes, he's like also in his seventies. Yeah, his voice is awesome. Has not like degenerated, right? At, like you know the aging pro where you go, you can hear an old man speak. Sure, this guy's like he's talking to you in his speaking voice, and then when the songs start, you go like, "Are you serious?" It sounds like he's thirty five, yeah. and he's obsessed with visual art. Like he's a very big art support. So every song has a new visual art element to it so you feel like you're at some interactive museum with this incredible shit happening and with you visually yeah while they're playing and like i was there with adam egot and he was like Love adam adam goes to like 100 concerts a year hmm. like 20 minutes in he goes this is the best thing i've ever seen really yeah he goes i've never seen anything yeah because i i mean like big j does concerts all the time yeah and i'm not really a concert me neither but I've started going more since I've been hanging with Big J since me and him do the bonfire together. Yeah. I know you've heard of, you know, that I took over for Dan Soda. It was one of the best moves they could ever make. Go ahead. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Um, but um, he, so I'm going, like, the first one he took me cure. Ugh, I almost fucking hung myself. That tub of shit. Is it good uh, and sad and lovely? And every song is like this. Uh-huh. And I'm overweight and haven't showered yeah. in a long time. <laughs> and my hair looks like a mop. Uh, this is the way yeah. I dance. I, want, I, I wanted to hang myself. Sure. Three hour concert. No visual, stupid visuals. And the only visual was in the middle, was here. Fucking terrible. Metallica, holy shit. Great. Oh, holy shit, yeah. But I went to Kiss. My God, were they fucking great. Yeah. And here's what bugs me. Because Joe DeRosa went to Kiss, mm-hmm. but he had your he knows Nick. Uh, I guess Nick's a big comedy fan. He's a big podcast comedy fan. I'm like, so DeRosa called, he knows my seats. My seats are up yeah. wherever, right? Yeah. Up in the He's thing. like, zoom in. <laughs> Dude, he he calls me up. He's like, Dad, I fucking was in the pit, Dad. I was by a spike. And the I could feel the heat. 
fuck him. Yeah. He told so Nick follows him. He's telling Nick. But guess what? What? Guess who Nick follows now? Your boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't said anything yet. But listen, the thing but, is, yeah. and that was I went to the last con- Kiss concert. Well, ever. That's the last one, dude. I, we went to the last one in uh, Madison Square, Square Garden. Is the last Kiss concert ever. My brought Max to it too. So my son first Kiss concert was the last Kiss concert. That's pretty rad. It's unbelievable. It's funny though. Like you don't like. That's why you know Bert's show that he does. Yeah. I know you don't like to talk about Bert. You actually asked me beforehand. Please don't bring up Bert. Yeah. I apologize. It's okay. Because I don't know, you know, I'm sorry. I'm Whatever. Bringing... Let's just get through it. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I Go mean, I just what were you think... going to say about him? I, I was going to, are you cool with this? Yeah. 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 What? What? Okay, dude. Um, his concert that he's putting on yeah. is, you know, the fact that he's putting on this massive show. Yeah. It's not just his stand up show. No. It's this crazy, almost festival like event. He's a real showman. Like he is a show. showman, dude. Yeah. yeah. And that's interesting to me that there's a comedy show you can go to. Yeah. That's not this big five day festival. It's one night you can go and see this fucked up show with yeah. all these different people. Yeah, yeah. And it then you definitely know. tapped into something. He basically, if you want to be like he basically did what remember Oddball? Yeah. Oddball was like the Live Nation's version of that. And it just kind of went away. Which was basically the virus tour. Yeah. Exactly. Like the opening anthem, yeah. And so those things like were a thing. They went away. Yeah. There is this gap in that type of thing. And then he just did it. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, I'll put on the multiple comics. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, everybody that did it was on the show. Yeah. I, w- I wasn't on it. Everybody that was on it, yeah. all my friends, everybody I know was on the show. Mm-hmm. My friend Bert show. Yeah. Friends with you know, when he started here. Yeah. Lived across the street, right over there. Yeah. I was do shows here all the time. Young comics together. All the other guys, my friends. That all did it. That all did it. Yeah. That were on the festival. Yeah. They all did it on his festival. Sure. That he put together. Mm-hmm. All those guys who did it said it was great. I heard the same thing. I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't there. Well, the only thing is, yeah. he does it every year. So right. There's not really a lot of opportunities for you to do it. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there'll be another one. Next Actually, summer so and probably won't the do summer that. after. If you ever do a festival, I'd love to be on it. Okay. Yeah. The Segura Fest. Sure. It's just you and we do lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Put on lipstick. Put on lipstick. And- um, yeah, it's weird. Like you, you, I always look at the thing where you guys hit the perfect, you, Burr, Ari, Bert, and I think uh, Al all started that network together. And that was them. They started it. Okay. So they started, they but you started were involved it. in it. They start. Al and Bill started it. It was their thing. And we were, it was kind of like, it was more like unofficial. Like you do your own thing, but you're all part of this thing, right? Like, like a, what would you call that? Like a comedy co-op? Like a co-op. Yeah. You guys were like, we're going to lift each other up. Yeah. And then we basically got to the point, like, I was like, well, I want to do my own thing. Yeah. So it wasn't like. A real fracture of anything. It just was like I want to do my own thing. Well, everything comes to an end. Everything yeah. has to kind of when you grow but out they, of anything. And like, and we do, you know, we do our own thing where we have these shows, yeah, and then we produce these like, uh, like, uh, you know, we did live streaming shows. Like, we did our first scripted one that comes out this Friday. Really? Called yeah, it's like a, it's called sixty nine minutes. So it's like a dude. A, when did you become good looking? I don't. Am I? I mean, yeah, dude, like you, like if you go back, go Segura, type in Tom Segura, 2006. (laughs) I mean, you are just a tub of shit back then. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, dude, you're a fucking great, look at that guy. Thanks, man. I mean, you're good looking right now, dude. You became a good looking dude. Can I tell you something about being a tub of shit? Yeah. Is that when you are a tub of shit Mm -hmm. and people go, that's, look, this is who you've been. Mm -hmm. You remember pre-tub of shit. Right. You know what I mean? So like when people were like, you've always been like this. You're like, no, no, no. I remember before I became a tub of shit. I mean, that guy looks like he touches That's children. That's not even close to the worst one. That's not the worst. I mean, no. who is that? Yeah. You, you know, were not meant to be good looking until you were old. Maybe. You're like George Clooney. Am I? You're really gassing me up right like now. Like George Clooney was all right looking back in the day. But as an older But man. as, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like now he's fucking great. Do you have another one? Hampton Roads. Tom, I mean, you, just type in. Look, let me help you out. Yeah. Just type in <laughs> Tom Segura, fat, <laughs> <laughs> and then hit image results. 
Let's do that with me too. Let's do. I want to do this with both of us. Oh yeah. Go ahead, Tom Segura, fat, and bring them all up. Oh my, you look like a, a club owner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look how pretty she is. Yeah, she looks really good. I mean, she looks fantastic. Yeah. What? No, get another know, one. They're like, oh, I love that they bring up one. Go to Google. Yeah, it's I mean, on Google. I, I apologize. Just go to Google. Oh my, look at that one. What's that? Oh, is the that top you? left one. The top, no, the, the one left there, that's one of the fattest I ever was. Where? Left, down. This one? That one. That's one of the, if you can make that bigger. What? One the of the biggest you did a special like that? That was just, that was, but, no, but the other image. Right there. Wow. I don't know if. Yeah. Scroll down, just scroll you down. Scroll, it's, maybe it's in the Scroll article. down, it's in the article. Scroll down. I told you, they all have autism, I apologize. And, they, and they're not even listening right now. They're just. Oh, they're there, they're far left. That one. Who's that? That's me. That's not you. That's me. That's not you. 2009. What were you doing? Were you working at a candy factory? <laughs> <laughs> what the I know. fuck, dude? I know. Wow. Yeah. I mean. Someone wrote, just a friendly reminder of where you came from, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no money, you tip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, Tom. Yeah. I mean, you, if you were that guy right now. All right, take it down, man. All right, listen. So, type in, please type in Robert Kelly fat. I'll make you feel better. You ready? You want to see this? I remember, can I, did I tell I told you this when I saw you. Is going to hurt? No, no. Okay, good. I saw you, I've, saw, I've seen you big yeah. after this, but I also saw you 2011, you were thin, right or wrong. I've had a couple skinnies yeah. in the business. 2011, I remember. I've had, I've had, that's when I actually met you. I met you in 2011 in when Vegas. When did we meet? At the Las Vegas Comedy Festival. Con that's when I met you and Morgan Murphy. Yeah. I met you. There. What were you doing there? I did a, I did a gig with, uh, I think, with Russell. He had a show. You part were opening of the for him yet? Yeah. You I, were on his, on his show. On his show. Right. I was but on I, Dane's show. I remember. Yeah. I met you at like kind of like a sound check thing. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Bro. That's not. That's a Getty image, so that's not photoshopped right that's a real image and i hate that they that's a getty image i'm hoping that you ever have the thing by the way because you know that horrible picture that of me that just went up when you do um like announce shows they put ticketing that. ticketing bit, like that. ticket master 100 they'll they'll use that one they'll be like here's see tom at the pnc arena i'm like this is the fucking yeah. show <laughs> yeah dude this is the photo you picked Dude, I have them use this shit all the time. Yeah. They just did a thing. I just did the uh, comics come home. Yeah. Uh, for probably the eleventh time, and they were doing promo videos. And the person that did the promo video. Yeah. Number one, I never get put in the videos. Yeah. I'm, it's always everybody else but me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So instead of being an asshole and going fuck you, I went, hey man, I just went great video. I was in. I I go maybe I'll make the next one. Maybe you know what I mean, but yeah. not like. I, I just say, hey, man, maybe I, I, I took the high road, sure. I felt. Right? They're like, thank you so much. Yeah. Which a little bugged me. Mm-hmm. Are you fucking? Okay. Of course. But they go, hey, we're making new ones, and you're in the next batch. It was a cool image <laughs> that they put in the video. They used one of the fattest photos of me. Yeah. Just like this. So my fat shirt was like a cape. Yeah. So I looked like Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Remember when he was in... in uh, <laughs> Anything? <laughs> no. Yeah. In Smokey and the Bandit Three. Yeah, yeah. I think it was when he when he was a uh, captain, Captain Chaos. Remember Dom Deluge when he was Captain Chaos? Sure. Captain Chaos, and, and he had the cape and then you were and like, the little thing. Yeah, that's what it looked like, Captain Chaos. Um, Wait, so what's the biggest? You, is this the? Is that was that thing like about the biggest you ever got? That was around three sixty. Yeah. Wow. All right, you didn't need to say that. Well, I mean, what a change. Yeah. You look great. Thank you, man. You we, both, we both are pulling it together in our middle age. Can I tell you Isn't something? That that I think I actually, here's the thing. Yeah. So friends of mine that I knew, let's say, when I was a freshman in college, mm -hmm. I was fat, right? Yeah. And then we get to this age, and they're all like, damn, dude. Like, you know. Yeah. Look what you did. Yeah. Those guys were freshmen, little twigs. Look great. And now they're pigs. Yeah, pigs. So like I I'd rather have it this I'd rather have it this, this way, way. Where we get that's the only advantage of having let yourself go early and neglecting yourself yeah. is that you can actually work towards 
getting it together as you age. Like you can hit 65 where people are going to be like, yeah, what's God up? damn, dude, you really, where the other guys just go, I'll throw in the towel. It's they just, throw in the towel. A lot yeah. of dudes our age, they give up. And I understand why, dude, having kids, oh, having a you job, yeah. you, it's 1030 at night and you're like, I'm just going to go to bed and you got to go to the fucking dumb, do some type of exercise. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. It sucks. And it sucks because I'm a good dad too. So I wake up in the morning with my kid and make sure, I know, fuck, this comics will become, what's up? I'll call him at like, you know, eight o'clock. What's up, dude? Yeah. What's up? I'm like, you're sleeping? Yeah, yeah. But your kids, you have kids my, going to school. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they, they go to school. I'm like, you don't wake up with your fucking kid? <sighs> no, I don't have to. You know, I you know. Don't, you don't. Love them? I'm like, don't, you know, you have to, but <laughs> they're not going to be kids. You know what I mean? Go, How you doing, bud? They're going to tell you to go fuck yourself. Yeah. And call you by your first name. No, they remember sooner. all that shit. Right. Did I, you know, I took my kid. I took my kid to a birthday. I flew in Sunday. Right. I got home at like 1230. And my wife was like, do you want to stay home with the little guy or take the big guy to a birthday party? And I was like, I'll take the big guy to the birthday party. Right. <laughs> so I go to the birthday party and it's like 12 kids. It's all boys yeah. from his class, and they're going to do the Nerf gun indoor thing. It's great. Super cool. Awesome. And I even tell the mom of the birthday boy, I go, once they get in there, I'm probably just going to go grab a coffee. And she was like, oh, yeah. Um, and then, you know, I'll just come right back. But just so you know, and here's my number. And stuff. Right. She's like, all right. So they line the kids up, and he goes, uh, hey. He goes, I don't want to do this. And I go, what? He goes, <laughs> I don't want to do it. And I go. This is going to be awesome. And he goes, mm. <laughs> he goes, I'm not interested. And I go, all your friends are, you don't want to play with your friends? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I, I go, look, I go, I'll just kind of, I'll just be here to get them started. Yeah. So they line them up and they go orange and green jersey so that there's teams for the Nerf gun thing. Pass out all the jerseys, 12 mm -hmm. or 11. And then they go, what do you want? He goes, oh, I'm not doing this with his hand. He goes, I'm not doing this. <laughs> And I go, okay. And I look at the mom and she's like, you know, I, I go, yeah, it'll just be a minute. So then they pass <laughs> out the, uh, the Nerf guns and they get to try different Nerf guns. And they come up to him and they're like, which one do you want? He goes, oh, I'm not doing this. <laughs> and I go, all right. The kids line out and then I pull them back and I go, why don't we just you and me check out one of these guns? And he's yeah. like, oh, okay. And I go, I kind of like just with body language, you know, to the lady behind, I was like, hey, he wants to, and she gets it, you know, yeah. she's like, yeah, she pulls down a few, she's like, you want to try this one, he's like, yeah, loads it up, shoots it at the wall, boom, boom, I go, that one's pretty cool, and he goes, yeah, and he, he goes, here you go, I'm not doing this, and I was like, <laughs> I go, okay, so the kids all load into the, like, the, the room where they're gonna, it's like, there's obstacles and barriers to play, it's like, you know, Nerf gun shit, like, yeah. they're, they're playing, like, shoot them up, right, and he sits at the viewing window, and he's just, like, watching. I go, you don't want to get in there and do this? And he goes, oh, no, 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 I'm fine. And I go, what do you want to do? He's like, there's an arcade. Why don't we just go to the arcade? Right. And I go, okay. And I tell I go, I think maybe we'll do this for a minute until he kind of warms up. Sure. We go to the arcade. He just starts playing, like, all the games. I was, like, super into it. Yeah. Eventually... A staff member goes, hey, the boys are now in one. They have, like, rooms for the birthday. Like, they're done with but, Nerf. Right. Now they're going to do pizza and cake and stuff. And he goes, uh, I go, hey, we got to go. They're doing the cake and stuff now. He goes, we're not going to go now, right? And I go, well, yeah, this is the <laughs> end of the party. Yeah. And he's like, Ugh. He's like, all right. So we walk into the room, and they go, uh, what kind of pizza you want? He goes, I don't like pizza. And I was like, this is true. So you don't you know he doesn't like pizza. I know he doesn't like pizza. Okay. I was like, Do you have anything else? And they go, No. And I was like, Great. <laughs> so I sit down and he goes, uh, can we go back to the arcade? I go, You just sat down. Like this is his party. It's like say hello to him. Right, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even know you're here. Right. So they they finish pizza, they do the cake, and he's like, Yeah, I'll take some cake. <laughs> and he eats a piece of cake and then he goes, You ready to go? I go, You wanna play again? He goes, I wanna go home. Like announces it in front of people. And right. I'm like, I go. Just let's just hang out a minute. They play a little more arcade, and then he was like, he, he plays a little more. 
he played so much where the kids they get points on their cars and they were getting like 300 points and then mm. you get it he had 5600 <laughs> points so he got 30 toys yeah and then he goes this was the greatest day dad really I go, yeah i go yeah and then the mom was like she goes yeah you're a good dad you just you know like you just i go yeah what am i gonna fucking leave you, him well here's what you could do grab him i'm gonna show you a little trick yeah Right here by the oh yeah, oh yeah. And go get in there, and you fucking embarrass me. I, I need a coffee. I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to. I was holding on to that fucking feeling of that's a what my mo- that's what my mom would have did. Yeah. Get the fuck in there. Well, I felt like I've done those things where I've right. broken them before. Like you're fucking doing this. You can't. But I was like, no, he just doesn't want to. <sighs> it, dude. I give you full credit for for not muscle alpha mailing your kid into doing something because here's why you feel like if you don't do it right if you don't make him kind of conform a little bit yeah he's gonna be out in the world just bumping into shit yeah i don't want to do it you have to get on the fuck you can't just open the door of the plane mid-flight right like my brain thinks like he's not gonna learn yeah um He's not going to learn the things that he needs to. You know when a dog, like a wolf, will bite the fucking that little. Yeah, yeah. And the little guy's like, all right, you don't do it. Like, I feel like sometimes no, I, there is a thing for that. But uh, And then I realize it's all bullshit, I think. I think, I think, there's think a, yeah. I think it's a balance. Because I've taken him to other things where he goes, I don't want to do this. Yeah. And that what I thought was going to happen that day is that within a few minutes, he's like, this is awesome. Because yeah. I've seen him do that. Right. But on this particular day, he was like. It, and he was also like, it wasn't dramatic. It wasn't fear. Yeah, and it wasn't, it wasn't, he wasn't like, yeah. He was like, I just want to go play video games. My kid wanted to go up on the roof. Okay. I was up on the roof cleaning the gutters uh-huh. because I have to. Because mm-hmm. um, that's the money. I'm a foot doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I say I'm on the roof cleaning the gutters. Yeah. I know you're braining me. Why don't you pay somebody to do that? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, you idiot? Um, Get one but of he, the helpers. <laughs> Do you have a helper? No, I mean staff. You have a staff? <laughs> My staff are fucking mentally ill. <laughs> they're not even here right now. Yeah. I have three guys. They're yeah. not even here. Yeah. Um, I had to go on the roof one day, and he was like, Dad, I want to I wanna go up. I was like, let's go. So he climbs up the ladder and freezes halfway up. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, come on, come on, you got it. All that shit. And there's the point. Look, I got to clean these fucking. I don't want to be up here. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man, you got to do it. And then uh, he starts crying, shaking. Yeah. I'm like, listen, man. I go, listen, you don't have to do this. If you want to be a quitter, you can be a quitter and be a pussy your whole life. Wow. And then he cried more. Yeah. And my wife threw a leaf blower at my fucking head. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) No, I just said, I go, listen, man, you have to do this. And, and he went away, he went away and then came back and tried it. He kept doing it and crying. Yeah. But the patients, you want to just go, hey, man, yeah. fuck off. Of course. Fuck off, dude. I got to do this shit. You had your shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or grab him by his hair and pull him up and go, look. Sure. See, it's fine. But I think that's a, be- there's a, there's, there's a, times where you, you just read it where you go, you're like, you know, like, it's like if we start something, yeah. I go, you're not stopping this, right? Like right. with the sport, I go, if you, like when we did the jujitsu thing, yeah. before he was in love, I go, if I'm getting you this gi, yeah. <laughs> you're fucking in this thing for a year, yeah. minimum. I did the same thing. A minimum year. Yeah. I don't want to hear any shit in like next month where you're like, I don't want to go. I go, you're going. Yeah. And, and that was before he was like, I love this. Yeah. And he was like, okay. Because like, I'm not going to let you just like, you know, I'm not going to get all the equipment or whatever and you just go, no, I don't feel like doing it. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. But like, if you're just like, I don't want to, I don't want to play with my friends. I'm like, all right, all right, dude. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna fucking drag you into this. You know? Yeah, it's it's a it's a hard thing because you don't want you, you don't want to be all the shit I went through. You know? Because you your parents, your mom is first of all one of the funniest things on the internet, and I and I'll say this confidently, is your mom farting. It's pretty great. It's it's top five. Have you seen the helicopter? The what? The helicopter? What's that? Dude, I know. Listen, the, the farting video with your mom—that's pretty great. That is, it's great. great. It's what, what's moment. the helicopter? If you go to my YouTube page, yeah, I, and I'm not big on like, you know, doing. You got to see what, but like, it is worth 
putting your headphones on. It's only like a couple of minutes. Yeah, like you're you're one of the nicest people I've ever met, but you're there's a connection that you don't have to humanity. Yeah. Where if it's funny, that supersedes empathy. Yeah, yeah. For you. Yes. Right? Absolutely. And I, I, think, yeah. I she's she for her 79th birthday, <laughs> she came to it's that one right there. She okay. came to Austin. Right. And I go, hey, um, I go, do you want to go for a, I've been taking helicopter flying lessons. That's such a, and I go, why, do, why the fuck, can I just say something? Yeah. What is this thing with fucking rich dudes that as soon as you, as soon as you get caught cheating, you buy your wife a horse. <laughs> and as soon as you get money, you get a helicopter lessons. I, don't, I just, what is that? I just, uh, here's the thing. I, I've been taking these lessons and I, she hates flying. Yeah. So I threw this, I lobbed it. I go for your birthday. Do you want to go through for like, just a nice flight? Mm -hmm. through you know part of austin <laughs> and she was like yes so i didn't do any convincing and i was like really and then my instructor who has like five thousand hours mm -hmm. like a real fucking animal pilot yeah we're in this md 500 which has a lot of like fully articulating blades it has a lot of maneuverability that you can't find in magnum uh, pi magnum pi chopper yeah but you can't do some of the things, some of the things you can do in this cop helicopter, you can't do in like a Robinson 44, like a more standard. I, need, I need you to stop talking to me like I have okay, a okay. helicopter. Okay. Listen to me. Yeah. I just got a Lexus. Okay. <laughs> but it, I'm Dude, saying, a standard 44. The, what? This, this, <laughs> Dude, this a, thing. A, a, a Cincy 19 <laughs> is not, you know what I'm saying? It just, this is the, uh, I'll put it this way. Yeah. This Dumb is the down. same manufacturer. <laughs> That the helicopter that we're in, that the Coast Guard uses. Okay. So like it has I love those you, type of. Your friends are so rich yeah. that you don't know how to talk to regular <laughs> comic comics. Yeah. Bert, so, it's like the uh, Mega ninety five, right? Like ninety five. Uh, <laughs> but so what I did I took was, one of those. Uh, she's in the back. My Burton. We mounted GoPros, yeah. and at a certain on your mother. Well, one <laughs> on her, right, and one on me. And I go at a. We'll do a nice casual flight, and then I'm gonna look to my instructor. Give him the signal, and he's gonna put on like an Arab acrobatic show, and she gets no. so. Tell me, this isn't no. this is one of the funniest things that I've ever witnessed. Helicopters are fucking terrifying. It's we almost died. Go ahead. <laughs> Turn it up a little. An MD five hundred that I've been training to get my pilot's license in. I think she's gonna be scared to death, and I cannot wait to see the footage. Can I pause okay, it right here for a second? Yeah. This is why I fucking would. I I don't care if I had a billion dollars. Yeah. I would never do helicopter shit. It's just the danger. Just the fucking. I have to check the back. Oh, thing. that part sucks, dude. Suck the, a the dick. Pre check. I gotta go. Uh -huh. Pre flight check is the absolute uh -huh. worst. And then I gotta look in the, and then I gotta spin that and I got a little thing. I know. That that shit that you have to be into. It's it's fucking. It's like grunt work. It, Can you pay somebody to do that yes. for you? Yes. Because I, I just want to get in. I just yeah. want to do that. You can do that. I don't want to fucking spin a back rotor. And I know. It fucking... It, it blows. It, it blows. It does. Okay, go ahead. Over a year. He's good. Over a year? I tell yeah. you, he's been flying for a year. I got to stop. Stop, stop, yeah. stop. I, people have to know that you, your mom is... Peruvian, she's right? She's Peruvian, yeah. Yeah, she's Spanish. Yeah, yeah. It's exotic Mexican. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's and that's what fucking blew me away, dude. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you I the fact that you 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 speak Spanish yeah, yeah. and your mom is totally Yeah, she's a hundred percent off the boat. Hundred percent off the boat. Came over when she was like thirty. Yeah, because you you look like you're from Connecticut. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, you yeah, and the you look like your mom should be like Thomas. Yeah, and my and my dad is like wise super white, so I got like his, you know, complexion. Yeah. 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 Right, go ahead. Plan for about 35 years. I like the guy who's kind of new. Okay, let's just start the fun. Mom, it's the end of your life. You got to just live it up. Yeah, I love you, mom. Right, let's get in. What a gift. The end of my life. <laughs> He's crazy as shit. We have a double plan now. Just when you push it, we'll be on the hill. But if you push it now, right now. You... No, but no one has <laughs> headphones on. <laughs> Can anybody else hear me now? It's a death trap. Oh, dude. This is like. 
<laughs> so she's like, oh, this will be a nice. So she's not even near you. She's no, in the back. And, they, and she oh. can't see, we can't see her because of the. Alone. Yeah, alone. You alone. put her alone, alone in the back in of the shop. Yes. Oh, God. Right? And so I'm seriously the most proud of That's why I'm sure I'm so proud of this. So, okay. <laughs> then we go into this. This is like casual sightseeing. I'm flying here. <laughs> Just like, oh, look over here. Isn't this nice? She's like, this is nice. It looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, all right, you take over. And he goes straight <laughs> into <laughs> chaos, bro. Sound right right into a nosedive. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> I can't even see her. I know how funny it is. <laughs> oh, bro. She's so, she's so. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, uh, 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 you have no empathy. Play. I gotta uh, see what she says. Oh yeah, it's good. I gotta see what she says. I don't think a human being is capable of doing stuff like that. She's as bad as it can. It's a mean son. Like to kill me during workouts. I will show you the cool, some of the coolest Tommy, maneuvers. I cry. I pray. I get petrified. And now you're like. I scream. And now you get to go. It's my birthday. I'm shaking. I have completely nauseated, by the way. Isn't that cool, though? No, Tommy, qué cool. Qué cool. And then all of a sudden, we are going to the to the hill. Then we are going up to the sky to go down. It was everything that can kill a human being. <laughs> That's all the stuff that I've been trying to master. You came here with the intention of destroying your mother. And now we go home? No, we are going to the mall. To the mall? Oh, she was you like, you're going to buy me shit now. A long time. <laughs> to mention how cruel is my son. Maybe I'm gonna get the iWatch 15. iWatch <laughs> <laughs> 15! <laughs> it's like a, dude, it's a cost I, for this. God, I love your mom, dude. Yeah, she is funny. a character. She's a character, dude. I, I scream, I cry, I pray. You know what one of the things she was saying? Because I could, she, she was going, think about your father. <laughs> 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 and like how upset he would be if you're doing this to me. Dude, can you please play the fart video? Oh yeah, it's dude! Weird. It's it's such a mean charo fart. The yeah. fact that you put this out here—that was a whole negotiation. Why? So, <laughs> you know, it was magic that I captured it. Really it's right. magic. So I'd I'd said something like something about like uh, I bet you can't fart like you used to uh, something like that. <laughs> and as <laughs> I say that, she turns around. I feel like there's something coming. Like there's, I feel like she's ready to perform. <laughs> And I reach in my, and that's the beauty of these iPhones, is that like I reach in my pocket, pull it out, and you have that icon, like the camera. And I just, I literally happen to hit record in the one second before it starts. And then you can see that when, if you, if you slow it down, you can see that when she's done farting, before she turns, she goes, like she's pleased with herself. Yeah, yeah. She, and, then, and then, you know, she sees it's it. It's the greatest moment. And then I was like, I have to post this. It's, it's the like, greatest absolutely moment. Absolutely not. The fact that she realizes that you got it. Is oh. that it? Yes. I play it. And, and just, that shows you that God is real. Yeah. <laughs> Look at God. God is good all the time. This is a magical moment. Let's do volume up and let's, let's, let's do it. I can't believe I'm finally. <laughs> Dumb. Yeah. 
It's one of the greatest farts it's ever great. captured. It's great. On, I mean, it's one of the greatest farts ever captured on video. It, I agree. It's just, and it's a natural, organic just moment. The fact that it's coming out of a middle-aged Peruvian woman. More than middle-aged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a senior right there. <laughs> it's like, you know how things have value? Yeah. You know, like diamonds have color, sure, clarity. Sure. Dude, this has like, all of it. Dude, the, fact, the length of the fart, yeah. the grumpiness of the fart, yeah. the dry uh, uh, pureness of of the ass, and then that it's coming out of an old yeah. Peruvian woman yeah. who doesn't know she's being recorded and is proud of it is one of the greatest moments of internet history. If the internet, if AI kills us all, yeah, this is that would be worth it. There was that moment when it was done, yeah, where I was like, the panic of wait, did I did I record? Yeah. You know? <laughs> And then you watch it and you're like, how can I make my phone safer right now? Like, I, I didn't know what to, I just didn't want to <laughs> lose it. <laughs> you know? like, I was so scared to lose it. Uh, yeah. And then I was like. Because you found gold. I was like, it's I, like what, yes, back it's in a lotto the, ticket. Back in Alaska when they found a nugget yes. and then it looked around like, I got to hide this. I got to hide this. I got to get this safe. Yeah. And then I let the day pass. Like, we would talk about it. And I was like, you know, I have to share this. She goes, I will kill you. I kill you. And I, <laughs> I go, how can we make this happen? And as soon as I was like, how can I make this happen? She was like, I want a Tumi bag safe. I want the crossbody bag, the wheel. I want the matching set. I want to go to a casino. And I want real money. Play. <laughs> And then the ne I got I, did, I agreed to all those things, and then the next day she was like, "I need first class tickets." I go, "What the fuck? We're doing first class tickets?" She goes, "And a car service to pick me up." Uh -huh. and I go, "This is becoming like a fucking twenty thousand dollar video." It's worth it. And she was like, yes. it, "If it's worth a hundred thousand dollars." She goes, "If you want to put your mother in the floor like this <laughs> for the world to see." <laughs> I love your mom. Yeah, yeah so hilarious. much. She's hilarious. Um, and what about your wife's family? Are they cool? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she's got some sweet cousins and stepsisters. Are you going into cousins? <laughs> You're going into people who fuck people who fuck people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, dude. No, I mean, no. her mom was a her mom was a piece uh, of work. Like, you know when people go like, "My mom's crazy," and yeah, you're, and you're like, "Yeah, of course, my mom's crazy." All moms are crazy. So she's love. like, "This is when we're dating." She's like, "All right, you're gonna, you know, we're gonna meet my mom today yeah. for lunch, just so you know." Mm -hmm. Like I said, my mom's pretty crazy, and I was like, "My mom's crazy," and she was like, "Just okay." So we go into this restaurant, and her mother was Hungarian, also off the boat. And, uh, you know, she's all done up. Um, at the time, she's probably like, I don't know, what is it, uh, late 50s or something, early 60s. And she's like, hello, Tom. Like, she says, like, the, you know, greets me. And then she turns to Christina, and she goes, I've seen Bloomingdale's today, and this fucking dad tries to sell this to me. I say, fuck you, you fucking bitch. And I was like, I was like, this is your mom. Like, that was her greeting, right? Wow. And I and I turned to Christina and she was like, like, and I go, Oh, your mom's like, she's a real hothead. You yeah. Know? She'll kill you. And she and that that was her personality. It was yeah. like, mm, I fuck you, you know? Wow. So, yeah, she was like intense. It's a different culture. Different culture. And <laughs> uh and and like, yeah, I mean. Yeah, her mom was was really on one, but she 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 died a number what seven years ago, oh. something like that. And then her dad, I you know, just yeah, no, didn't really, no. Yeah. So so you when you your family is kind of the family. Yeah, yeah, in in our household, yeah, right, yeah. No, that's cool. I mean, your mom is your dad cool? He was. He died. Uh, Sorry, in the, at the end of twenty one. No, he Sorry. was the best. The best. He was the best. I mean, everybody loved Christina. Loved him. He was awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How did he die? Cancer. Cancer? Yeah, he had a multiple myeloma, a blood cancer. Yeah. I hate the fucking names for cancer. Can't they just mul lymphoma, multiple yeah. myeloma? It's what is that one? Uh, that, that one's a, it's a very. Is that from great. TV dinners? What is that from? Uh, I probably Vietnam, probably oh, being exposed. My, my dad was in Vietnam too. Yeah, probably the, I don't I mean, Agent Orange stuff. Right? My real dad. Yeah. The, you know, the, my biological father. I haven't seen it in a while. Really? Yeah. No. Died too? No, he's still around. We just doesn't, we choose. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years. Just 20 years. Yeah, some weird thing.
Yeah. My sister needed a kidney transplant, and he wrote a letter to my sister. Like, I don't know. This is all. Best of luck with that? Well. (laughs) (laughs) Like, thanks, Dad. (laughs) That's a great letter. (laughs) It was in in that vein of, like, you call me when you need shit. (laughs) But this is from my mom, too. Yeah. Who, you know, I never saw that. I, my mom told me that, so that could have been fabricated. I love my mom, but she, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm such a hothead. You know, if you don't like somebody and I like you, I don't like them. You know what I mean? Sure. That's fucking stupid Italian in me. Fucking dead, dead. Yeah. You know, me and Virgie talk about it all the time. There's people that he's still mad at that I've made up with that he, I told him, go fuck them. Yeah. And he, he's, fuck them to me. Fuck them to me too, but I never went back and said, "Oh, dude, we made up. We're good." So he's now. treating these people like shit for years, and I'm like, "No, dude, we're cool." He's like, "You gotta fucking tell me, dude. I've been fucking. I mean, I don't talk to that guy. <laughs> I haven't talked to that guy in three years because you, you fucking cocksucker." But um, yeah, I haven't seen my. I would. I don't know. I would like to see my dad. Yeah, you know, my my stepdad passed away a few years ago from fucking weird shit. Really? Yeah, he went away for a week and hit his head, and then fucking got sepsis and <laughs> gone. We're at the age now too, where like. The the pe- the generation older than us, they're all about to die or, mm-hmm. or dying, and then we're also in the age range where like some people in our age range are gonna just yeah. suddenly die. People know? are dying at my art. Uh, yeah, these right. You're fifty. Yeah. I'm forty four. I look fifty. You're forty four. Yeah, but I look you know, like I'm in my. 50. I mean, you look like shit. I know. I've been hearing this for I- <laughs> my whole life, dude. You're forty four. Do you understand that when I was. <laughs> 15. This is, think I'm about fi- this. I'm 53. When I was 15. You look f- 59? No, I could go by uh, booze and not even like fake ID. They're just like, hello, sir. Like at 15 <laughs> years old. 15, I looked 27. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. What are you bringing up? Other 44 that, year old celebrities? I mean, dude, Chris Pratt. Oh my God. But, look at the, but here's the thing you're going to try, like, either that's heavily photoshopped. Or he's wearing a ton of, he's got filler and makeup. Like, that's not a normal fucking 44-year-old face, dude. Get the fuck out of here. That guy has, what are you looking at me like that for? Because I'm sad that that's a normal 44-year-old face. This is a real 44-year-old face. No, you, I mean, I'll tell you what you've done in the last couple of years. Are you, I'm I'm thinking, can I talk to you about something? Yeah. It's funny, too, because, like, me and you have never exchanged numbers. Yeah, we should do that today. Well, you can't, but it's fine if you don't want to. No, I, I'm, I, here's why. Yeah. Because usually when I exchange, like, like uh, you know, I love Bert. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, he's great. But he's the worst. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's the greatest. Right. But he's the worst. Totally. Like, you'll te- he'll, he'll fucking text you from... You know, st- this thing with this cigar and this people and Bobby, blah, 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 I wanted you to meet. And you're like, hey, man, what's yeah, up? What's up? This is awesome. Yeah. You know. And then you'll call him the next day. Hey, dude, what's, hey, that was blah, blah. Nothing. Buddy, I'm his business partner and I have the same problem with him. Like, we actually have investments together. And I'm like, hey, man, this is day three of reaching out. <laughs> I'll call his wife. What is that? He's just, I don't know, dude. I, 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 I got a lot going on. You know, he's just like this, I don't know, manic kind of. But there's other people, too, where, you know, you, you'll, you'll, hey, man, what's up? What's up, dude? Blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. We've reached a certain. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you'll go, hey, man, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And you can't, you know what I mean? There's, and there's levels to this, right? This sounds right. like a lot. But, like, there's also some, I do this, I've done the thing, too, where I, I read the text. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like I, and then you go, yeah, yeah. And I forget to. But right. usually you pick up on that, like, that right. ends on, like, maybe the next time that you go, shit, I didn't respond to your earlier text. Right. But with Bert, I'm telling you, it'll be days. Days and days, weeks. Week. Yeah, weeks. Yeah. And I'm like, because I, yeah, like you'll he'll, still, still trying to reach you through all the platforms, and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. he gets you. Yeah, he'll call you or text you with this dude, blah, 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 and you're like, hey, that's fucking great. And then when he finally does, I'm like, yeah. hey man, this is a long. I'm, I've been paragliding, and I'm like, what, <laughs> what? And he's like, yeah. 
Anyway, yeah. do you need something? Oh, well, I don't even remember why yeah. I called you. I just want to make sure everything is, you're still alive now. Yeah, it's weird because, so I don't know if we should exchange numbers because you don't wanna, yeah. I'll t I don't want to be hurt by you, Tom. Well, we could, yeah, because what happens if we exchange numbers, then we just risk so much. We risk a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if we don't. It's been great. It's been awesome. Yeah. Right? Fun. Because I went to your, when I went to your show and I did your show, mm -hmm. it was so fun. And it was so great. You and your your wife were so fun. It was just amazing, right? And then uh, um, I left. Yeah. And I was like, should I have? Yeah, we should have exchanged numbers. Should I have said something? Yeah, we should have exchanged numbers. Exchanged numbers? By the way, this is a great episode that you did. It was a fun one. It was really your fun. Your show's great. It was really fun. It was really great. And your studios are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, they did, they did a great How do you like our studio? It's cool. I like it. <laughs> I do. No, I do. Your studio's nuts, though. It's pretty nuts. You have Starbucks. Well, it's, it's only possible um, because of where we are. You know I mean, I couldn't, do, I couldn't duplicate that in LA right. or New York. Right. It's you could do that. Yes, you could. You know how much it would be, though? It would be a lot of money, but you could do it. You, could, you, you have a helicopter. I don't have a helicopter. I'm getting a helicopter. <laughs> There's a big difference. <laughs> um, well, listen, man. I, I, I say we don't exchange numbers. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Okay, well, that hurt. I, that was kind of a setup. Oh, you know, oh no, 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 I insist. <laughs> now we can't. Now we can't. You know what I mean? How about yeah. if I give you... What if I give you one of my old numbers? <laughs> That'd be kind of Do you have fun. a burner phone? I have a few numbers. Well, do you have a, how about if I give you my number? Yeah. I'll give you my number. Oh, and then and then you it's on me. You can block your thing. I like this. And it's on you. I like this. I'll give you my number and then you call me. You gotta wait it out. I'll wait it out. I'm fine with that, dude. That and it way could be what is it? It could be <laughs> March. And you're gonna be like, who the fuck is this? Who's that? But you have to you can't do that. You can't be like, hey dude, how are you? You're like, dude, it's it's T. Yeah. It's TS. Oh, and, I, and I decided it was time to open the gate. What's up? Yeah. But no, don't open the gate. <laughs> okay. Don't open the gate for me. You're crazy. Okay, okay. So just, hey, what's up? What's up? Like you regula regulate, you govern our friendship. I like it. How's that? I think it's a great idea. And then like, if you're like, dude, listen, man, uh, doing a thing, coming in, want to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? And you're like, all right. And I can text back to it. Yeah, but you're going to be like, I'm in fucking Hartford. You're never going to be here when I'm coming in. You'll always be gone. You don't know that. You don't know that. Why don't we put on our dad glasses to end this thing? Why don't we end this thing? Put on our dad glasses. Tom Segura, oh. you have uh, you have a new thing out right now. Yes, it's sixty nine minutes. Sixty nine minutes. Why sixty nine? So we did like a. And why do I always think of sixty nine when I hear sixty nine? Well, it's uh, we did like a, a a parody of of sixty minutes, but we did pieces about things like do poor people use washcloths only, or <laughs> you know, like we did those types of pieces. Right. Uh, Christina did a piece on um, should she expand or remove her whore tat her her uh, her tramp stamp. She has one. Yeah. Uh, Danny Brown did uh, why pickleball is so um, is really taking off with whites. Um, <laughs> Is this and, is this going to be a show show like all the time? I don't know. Like we, you know, this is funny. We produced like we, we I tell I tell the pot we produced an episode of television. That's what it is. It's sixty nine minutes, and that we use that kind of like to give ourselves parameters how to make this show. Where I, you know, I host it like I'm the host of a news show. Yeah, and I throw to different packages and pieces that we produce. But like, like Brian Gumble. Yeah, yeah, exa exactly. Like Just real like sports. real sports, exactly right. like That's real great. sports. And then some of the people sat with me afterwards, and we, you know, we play it like it's very serious, but it's very stupid shit. That we I want to do one. It's very. Dude, fun. if you ever do this again, please. Let oh, me I think we, I think we will. I will, uh, and, and, and this is where. Where can you get it? Uh, YMHstudios.com. And is it how much does it cost? Ten bucks. Ten bucks, and you get the whole episode. You get the episode, and uh, you own it. Uh, I think it streams forever for a, yeah, for, for a long, long time. For a long say time. a long time legally. Long time. Long that's great, man. I streams for a long time. Oh yeah, and that's uh, that's the upcoming tour. What's the tour called? Come together. <laughs> Come together. Is um, it C U M? I wish. No. Yeah. Huh. The, the uh, Are you trying to bring people together? Yeah, but it's like, is, you know, it's is it fun. that? It's, is it like well, the Beatles, or is it? It's like, like you know, let's all come together. And maybe you can come on someone if you meet them there. So you, you can know? come together and maybe come on somebody in yeah. the stands. And, and you, dude, yeah. you're selling out. You, dude, you're killing it, Tom. Not only are you killing it in stand up, now you, you're reaching. I'm so glad you're doing like television. I'm excited stuff. to do it. You, by the way, like I told you, are an incredible actor. And uh, I noticed that having seen you, I, I saw you on Louie. I saw you in that in that movie. Um, Fourth but, of July. Yeah, yeah, you're a really good actor, man. Yeah, but Very ever impressive. since I lost weight, I've lost that ability. 
to act? Yeah. Really? It was a fat. It was hit. The fat was hitting a nerve. Yeah. In my brain, <laughs> that uh, that made me act good. No shit. Yeah. Watch. Try it now. Give me a scene. Okay. okay. Um, I want you to be really. You're really sad. Yep. Okay. About the fact that the coffee place downstairs closed because it's been a family business and you love that family. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Can you believe they? There's no more coffee down there. What? What are you, a fucking hitman or something? This is scary. Why are you scaring me? Sad. What? I want you to be sad. What? See, it's gone. I don't have it anymore. Huh. Hang on. Let me try it again. Okay. Let me just adjust myself. Go ahead. Do it again. All right. Yeah, we can't get any more espresso downstairs. Downstairs? Is... Yeah. It's not open? They're, they shut the doors. Why? Because nobody bought enough. I don't know. It's the... You know, the prices, lease payments are just too much. <laughs> the Romero family. They're gone. They're gone. Does anybody know where they went? I don't know. They left a note that just said sorry. Why are they why are they sorry? Just love the neighborhood, man. We should be sorry, Tom. We should be sorry. Not the Romero family. They should be celebrated. I know. We fucked up. Dude, that was fucking. Incredible. I mean, dude, you I got fucking, it. You fucking I fucking got, got it. it, dude. You definitely got it. I got it. it. Oh, you're tearing up. I mean, I'm tearing up. Dude, I think you brought it out of me. Jesus. God, Christ. I'm a good actor. You're really good. I'm fucking great. That was you, incredible. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, you got so much shit going on. Thank you, first of all, for coming in. You didn't have to fucking do this. No, I'm a super. You're, you, you're sold out. Your tickets. This is all. Because love of the game, love shit. of the game, dude, and Good I love for Robert Kelly, dude, and you, I love you too, man. I I do hope uh, in our new friendship when I give you the number, yeah, that you uh, you know yeah. regulate it and we become friends. Uh, you know what I'll do? Yeah, um, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's see here. Yeah, what's no? All right, hold on. Sure, hold sure, on. sure. Robert, I'm trying not to be excited right now. Kelly, Robert Kelly, yep. Okay. Yeah. You want to put the thing in? Sure. I'm going to put it in right now. Oh, okay. It would be even nicer if you call me Bobby. But... Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that. Let's see. Uh -huh. I'll change it. You're going to change it? Yeah, I'm going to put it. Bobby, Bobby. with an IE. With an IE? All right, I'll change it. It was a joke. Is that how it is? It was a joke. Okay. But I didn't know you were going to flip out. Yeah. Because then I'm going to search for it. Like, I didn't know you were fucking, homophobic. Who's this chick that I used to fucking <laughs> hook up with? There you go. Okay. There you go. Don't show it to the cameras, please. I will not show it to the cameras. Dude, congratulations on everything. I hope when I come back to Austin, maybe we get lunch a or something. A thousand percent. Get some lunch, hang yeah. out, maybe yes. come back on the show or yeah. whatever, or just hang out, Let's smoke do a it. bat. We'll do it both. Tell we'll your both. wife I okay. said, what's up? I will. And uh, and tell Bert to uh, return my text message. I will not. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun, dude. Thanks and for make sure me. you check out all his stuff. He's please probably do. one of my favorite people in the business right now, all around, good human being, hilarious, funny, does it in two languages. There's there's nobody like Segura, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you check out these guys. What, what do you got? Quick. Uh, Max Marcus Comedy, all social media. <laughs> Follow me at Danny Braff on Instagram and see me January 12th at the Dojo Comedy in Jersey. And you can check out the Cheese Show on YouTube. I feel like it's when you have like... Like those animals at the zoo, and you just throw the food in. <laughs> that is Go! The perfect analogy. I love these guys. Yeah, I want to thank these tell. guys for here being every week. They're sweethearts. And uh, putting the show on. You guys are the best fans in the world. We'll see you next time. You know what? The podcast. The 31st, New Year's Eve, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Summit City Comedy Club. Tickets still available. Two shows only. It's New Year's Eve. Spend it with me at. Fort Wayne, Indiana, Summit City Comedy Club, Saratoga, New York. I'm going to be there the 12th and the 13th at Comedy Works. And then I'm going to be uh, January 18th at Reggie, Chicago. The 19th, I'll be at Bub's Irish Pub in Germantown, Wisconsin. And then the 20th, I'm at Glendale, Wisconsin at the... Sp 
Brecher Brewery. I got a bunch of dates. Go to robertkellylive.com for all my live appearances. Make sure you go to punchup.live. Watch my special that Louis C.K. directed for free. Punchup.live and all my dates are up there too. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment and go to patreon.com slash robertkelly to become a member if you want to support the show. Thanks for watching. You know what? Uh, I'm going to come see him live. You should. You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.